<laughs> so those are the three main dramas. Where what where where do you want to start and what do you think we disagree on? Oh boy. Okay. Let's start uh, in the beginning. Let's go back yeah. to the Hannah Cook thing. Are you ready for this? Subscribe to the podcast, KFC Radio, on YouTube. Bang. It's another episode of KFC Radio on the Barstool Sports Network. It's Clancy and Feidelberg down to fuck around. Uh, we got a big episode. We got a lot to talk about. Uh, probably the most dramatic day at Barstool Sports in the last few years. Um yeah, I don't even know why you even try to keep. The I don't know. It's still it's At, like every crazy. every episode of the last like five episodes. I'm like you start fine right until away. we start. Like I can hang the out here, is a and then it's like my my body knows like it, like, it, like gears up. Like, yeah. it's like, all right, time to get ramped up. And I feel like I'm a. Oh, I don't even like this T-shirt. Oh no! Now you feel this uncomfortable. Episode is canceled you already. You're wearing your corduroy hat <sighs> and you lost it. Now you're wearing a T-shirt you don't like. We just did a photo shoot where we look. Horrendous! Oh my god! Th- here's this, the, let this... me tell you the problem with being a blogger, okay? So we... I'm anti these clothes. Whatever they make us model in, don't fucking buy them. Seriously, don't, yeah, no, don't buy these clothes. Buy our clothes. This does not. This does nothing for us. This does nothing for me and John. Don't buy these. Buy our clothes. <laughs> so we are hot people. The clothes are unflattering, so I wouldn't buy them. Bro, every time we do. Like <laughs> realistic photo shoots, I'm like, I hate this. I don't. We, we're not photo shoot people. I don't think we're, I can say that. Buy the clothes; they're great. I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I'm like, yo, we are not like Hollywood. We don't do headshots. We don't do photo shoots. But then we don't do them. And these guys need to build assets and come up with flyers for live shows and shit. And they just pull awful images of, off of Google of us. And it's like, well, fuck. I guess we should. Take- I'm fine with those. Pull the awful images in. Yeah. Well, I don't care if it's crisp and clean. No, I, I don't That's need to be crisp and clean, but I don't. You I, fucking I, do. You're doing it on purpose at this point. What? You, with the Friday Night Pints nonsense. What do you mean? Oh, It's always our fucking stupid, lame headshots. And everyone else has cool pictures of them. don't take other pictures of yourself. Yeah, well, that's the but problem. I've been trying to get you guys to do headshots yeah. for like two I don't two want years. headshots. Just do it. Don't they cut me doing this. Then, and then I get that one. Then it's like very pixelated. Yeah, you you that's yeah. fine. Yeah. That's no, fine. it's not fine. Because yeah. then people aren't going to click on it, John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can stage shit. We can do that. But like we can't. Well, that's <laughs> the problem is we go can't in there and they're like, okay, so like put on like put on this pink hat and like goof around and it's like bro I had a uh, bow in my mouth <laughs> you put the mouth they put it in your mouth yourself. I put it in my mouth myself but I, I mean, they put it around my neck yeah. and I was like well this is lame so I gotta do yeah, something here do something, so yeah. I put it in my mouth but uh, but we, yeah we need to just take some normal photos this is the barstool bitch fest is what this episode yeah, is yeah <laughs> but no you know but it's like we're ugly so you know it's tough yeah it gets a bitch fest because so it's like you normal people don't have to take pictures in unflattering clothes that are gonna be plastered all over the internet <laughs> i put it on right away i was like i've got the weird dick bump thing going and i'm fat oh you could see my dick head in the picture yeah. for sure and it's not Absolutely. good you know it's not like a good like, yeah, dick. No, it's like a little button you know dude, they kept doing it's, it's this the thing. cartoon nose we talked about the little boop, boop, yeah they you know? kept doing this thing where they would start a sentence on how we could look oh. better and they just kind of tail off when they realized there was no solution because we because <laughs> usually when you, when somebody's like oh my god i look terrible People were like, no, 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 you look fine. You're crazy. We were like, oh, my God, I look like, terrible. No, and they were like, just they were like oh. yes, so maybe you just... This. You know what you could do? You could turn a little bit. Is, and that's going to do it. And then you know what? It, it would be better. You <laughs> fat fuck. <laughs> so now we're ugly. Maybe you could just, I don't know, lose 30 pounds and come back real quick. <laughs> right. I said to her, do you have extra large money chances? She goes, no. Like, fuck. <laughs> so be on the lookout for us in ugly pictures. Yeah, you're going to kill us. You're going to kill us. We had a fucking... Uh, uh, heart sung, heart glasses, whatever, Pretty whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. It's too late. I, my my check's gonna clear next week, uh, hopefully. And, <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, John. We don't have to worry because uh, now here at Barcelona Sports, we're not we don't we're not mean to each other. There is we're not allowed to be mean to each other at Barcelona. We are no longer mean. This is a nice company now. This is a nice company now. Just just uh, we are. I mean, we always have been. Just one big. Kumbaya, happy family. <laughs> now here's the deal. People. I under I, I I I think you and I are gonna disagree on aspects of this. Okay, let's get into the drama. If you don't know what's going on, uh, you can catch. There's a, I have a one minute man out on on my Instagram KFC Barstool that really briefly, quickly explains it. If you don't know, th- 
on Tuesday, there was three explosions of toxic femininity <laughs> happening at Barstool Sports. This is what happens when you let the chicks into your club. <laughs> uh, but it, it all began with two main stories, uh, one being Alex Bennett from Cause I Said So, and she does content with her mom, Kim. She went to the Barstool. I'm going to go real quickly here. She went to Barstool Yak Live. She got way too drunk. She was shit-faced at the bar, asleep on the bar. Caitlin Walker, who's Brandon Walker's sister, who does all of the travel booking, uh, was helping Alex. She called her husband, said, you got to come get your drunk-ass wife. And then uh, Hannah Cook, who is the Barstool Sports Advisor weather girl, called Hannah called Alex's phone. Meteorologist. Caitlin, uh, speaking of meteorologists, New York City could see between 2 and 20 inches yeah. this weekend. So what plan, are we doing? Just plan for that. Just plan for anywhere between <laughs> absolutely nothing or devastating blizzard. <laughs> That's something that dumbass Hannah would probably say. So she calls Alex's Think phone. Across the line there. She, <laughs> she calls Alex's phone. Yeah, yeah Char's going to hear about that one. <laughs> <laughs> and Caitlin picks up. And says, like, oh, I'm with Alex. I'm taking care of her. Her husband's coming to get her. And Hannah allegedly says something to the effect of, um, you're not content. Why are you hanging out with Alex, who is content? That's a bad look. Hannah says that she never said that. I fully believe Caitlin Walker. 100% in all ways. I believe she walked it back and said, you're right, I did say that. I think she tweeted, I never said that. She, she said something like, if I was drunk and if I said something rude, then like, I'm sorry, but I don't think I did. Because then she tweeted and deleted, I don't know how to defend myself right. from something that never happened. So she's all over the map. Because I think she was shit-faced too. I think Caitlin Walker is like the nicest person in the world. She exists solely to help people at this company. I just believe her wholeheartedly, 100%. Yep. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's the, the, the feeling. So that was the first thing. Then Alex Bennett was involved in a second thing where... She was. Uh, she went on Jordan's show called Blocked. Blocked is a show about tell me a time when an instant, uh, when a uh, social media personality blocked you. Alex Bennett told a story when several years ago, uh, this girl who is a fashion uh, Instagram influencer blocked her because Alex was commenting on her photos saying that they were photoshopped because Alex lived in the same building as this girl. So she would post these pictures that looked nothing like her. Alex would see her in person and then comment and tag her friends and be like, I saw her today. She's totally photoshopped. Like, this one's not real. That was like three years ago. Alex got blocked. She tells the story again. Um, that's when we find out that Dave Portnoy knows this girl, Danielle. Uh, her, her, her company is called We Wore What and Dave knows her and hangs out with her in the Hamptons and so he gets a phone call from her being like what the fuck is this about so Dave says you gotta take this down then gave them the ultimatum saying you can take it down or you can leave it up but you have to tell everybody that I told you to take it down uh, so they end up taking it down so that's another point of contention. And then there's a third thing where publicity, Alyssa Amoroso was just saying that her live show was better than the Barcelona Yak live show, which is just a funny little, like, sprinkle it in there, like, I think I'm better than you. <laughs> so those are the three main dramas. Where what, where where do you want to start, and what do you think we disagree on? Oh, boy. Okay. Fuck. Um, Let's start uh, in the beginning. Let's go back yeah, to the Hannah Cook thing. I, uh, that, that, I don't think – for some reason, I think that became the most drama of the office, but I don't think there was drama about it because I don't think – Anyone had a different opinion. It's an insane thing to say. It's yeah, a, but, but well, I mean, she it's a, it's she was kind of crazy town thing to say. She was kind of maintaining that she didn't say it though. I think I think that I don't think there's I think people that that might be the juicy part. I think people are the one people like to talk about the most. But like everyone who was around talking anything anything I overheard or was said to me was like, yeah, that's nuts. Right, and that well, the, what it sparked was this content versus non-content like joke correct De dev uh, uh dev was like you know Rhea spit in my face because i'm not content yeah. and tommy was saying like i only associate with content people and like jokes like that floating around about content versus non-content i said it on my other podcast here like the the line between content and non-content here is like so fun is, is like if you go to like nbc you know uh the today show hosts probably don't even look you're not even allowed <laughs> to look at them if you're a pa you know but here it's like you know, our producers don't even know how to produce. They're just funny people. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, everyone's content. Everything's content here. So that's kind of crazy. Um, also, the one thing that Hannah tried to say was, like, I thought that you were going to make content out of Alex being drunk, and I wanted to protect her. 
but in the same breath, you're saying that Caitlin Walker's not content. So like, how would Caitlin Walker make content? Yeah. Unless unless Gaz is with you, you're probably pretty safe. Yeah, and, I, and, and we'll get into that too because then they they started talking about like what would you make content out of drunk people on the Jay Portnoy show? So I I think that probably happened in some capacity. Um, Caitlin Walker is so uncomfortable right now. She doesn't want any part of this, but she did want to stand up for herself. And I love her part where she was, you know, she didn't really give all the details. She just said, like, you weren't nice to me. And then she was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm sticking up for myself. I'm saying it. You mean girl to me. You mean girl to me. <laughs> so I just think that was a bad moment for Hannah. It was. I mean, it's perfectly mean girl to be like, like where are you? Like, well... <laughs> Where else would I be at one o'clock on a Tuesday? I'm getting my hair done. I, <laughs> like that. Her, her dialing into the salon was a horrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm having my my glam team slave away on me. That was not a great idea. Um, but I think that was just like an open and shut case. I hope that you know Hannah doesn't say that again. And I and I would say, out of I would be willing to guess out of every like media company in the world. <laughs> Content and non-content of Barstool Sports probably has the best relationship. I would, I would think so. Overall, I'm sure, I'm I'm sure, sure there's some people. But producers also fucking hate content. Producers dude. are bitches, bro. I fucking You're heard not hell. Now, let's get into I've it. heard Fuck fucking tell about group chats just yeah. hating the people they hating work for. The <laughs> and I'm always seeing on. I don't think like, there's ever about any of them, but I've heard tale of them. I mean, there's there's always <laughs> tweets floating out there like producers don't get enough love and all this shit. <laughs> Nick. Uh, Hamilton knows exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> don't get me wrong. There's some producer on producer crime in group chats. Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, I would bet. <laughs> I'd go so far as to say the producer group chat at Barcelona Sports Most catty, is like, the meanest, meanest thing, fucking yeah. thing so mean that girls. happens at this company. Yeah. No, it ones, is. There's <laughs> ones I'm not in that I've heard about that. I'm just like, I don't want to be in for the day that that gets fucking. And, and guess what? You want to know yeah, why? Because yeah. they're all fucking smarter than us. Well, yeah, so yeah, they can, they're better at making fun of us. I I'll. I I can only speak for myself. I do like everything I can to make sure I'm never one of those talent people. That, yeah, like, yeah. like we will help put up our own lights and take it down and like travel and pack and all that shit. Like I'll do all of that or at least offer to help and do all that shit because I never want to be one of those people that the producers are yelling about because – be, it, it's That's, almost like I, I remember when uh, fucking nasty fucking Latin before the <laughs> <laughs> before <laughs> before the <laughs> before the, <laughs> the, <laughs> before the um, Pat's Titans game I went to a few years ago. I texted Rabel and we, we did, like, did a little, little bullshit back and forth, yeah. talking shit about the past game, and and this is something that has stuck with me forever because it's so true about so many people. Yeah. Uh, and then and then he sent me a gif after the game, where it's like I'll be a Huckleberry or whatever it was. It was it was like a perfect gift from Tombstone. Yeah. And I was like ha 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 whatever because it kicked our ass. Right. And I was like ha 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 you fucking nailed that. And he said in no uncertain terms, yes I did. <laughs> I can do your job. You, you can't, can't do, do mine. mine. <laughs> and I was like, it's all it took was a gift. You're right. Yeah. 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 And, and I'm sure all the producers, they could yell nonsense into a microphone. That's so true. But I can't fucking I'm edit I'm very a video. aware of that. I'm very aware of that. Like, especially, <laughs> like, uh, I'll do a video and I'm like, that wasn't very good or entertaining and then I get the final product back and I'm like wow you guys fucking turned that into some cool shit so yeah no they are by far the more valuable of the people um, and I'm sure there are some people here I can't speak for everybody I'm sure there are some there are some talent who don't treat their producers or, or editors or whatever very good so I'm sure there is some people who, who don't like but um, but okay so that's the first thing second thing uh, is brought to you by Wood so uh, we got our new we got our new grooming line out. Um, we've been talking about doing this for a long time. We kind of we kind of identified this a long time ago that men's grooming products are kind of the next thing that um, we should have gotten. We should get into because uh, it's finally coming around that guys don't like to be ugly. There was a long time, like in history, interesting where, where start guys to the just show like, for this. We'll be ugly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For a long time, though, guys were just like, "We'll be ugly." People. We just started using the wood. That's why. Yeah. Now we know. Now we know that we have like high quality shampoo and conditioner. We have high quality shaving cream and aftershave. We have high quality lotions and skin. I creams. lotioned up this morning. Did you? Yeah. 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 We gotta. Yeah. That's that's a big thing to us, white people. We gotta we gotta do more. I'm, I'm feeling. 
I'm feel feeling good. lotion. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, girl, yeah. I mean, girls. I'm, I'm too new to the to the lotion game yeah. to know what adjective you use to describe your skin after you put lotion on. Probably soft. But I'm feeling lotiony. I'd probably say soft. Yeah. Lotiony. <laughs> I think lotiony works. <laughs> yeah. uh, you you put lotion on every day. Yeah. That um, seems like a lie. Yeah, I do. Why are you yeah. lying to us? Well, I what I yeah. Like when you get out of the shower. Um. Yes. Just your face. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't believe you, but okay. Yeah, I feel like you don't. <laughs> no, 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 I do. I was. I don't know. Why I was confused by the question. Neither do I. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think. I think it's because you were busy concocting a lie. Yeah. <laughs> That's why. No. Uh, <laughs> but I feel like girls get out of the out of the shower and just like lotion up every day, like the same way we like brush our teeth. It's just like you do it. And yeah. We, we just, I would just never consider doing. Yeah, because well, like, you got. What I've learned is you got to let it sit first. So what the water sit like? The, no, you let the you let the lotion, lotion sit. sit. I put clothes on right away and I just be sticky. I know. Well, the problem the the difference too is like you also know, I couldn't get out of my bathroom door because <laughs> I mean, my hands be so lotion. Danger. Right? We we should put on the bottle here. Like you might get trapped in your bathroom. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I did. I, there was one time I was in there for like ten minutes. I was like, I'm never doing this again. Spinning the knob. <laughs> it's nuts. You are shockingly stupid <laughs> if you get trapped in a bathroom because you put lotion on. <laughs> Dude, now that I'm thinking about it, I have my towel on my waist. I could just use my towel. This but motherfucker got stuck in his own bathroom. <laughs> this was, okay, for, this was he got, years he ago. He got lotion on I've his hands so he couldn't turn the knob. This, this, oh, I thought you got, like, stuck in a tub, like, from president. Like, Jesus, <laughs> Sean. No, this was, this was years ago. This is back when I lived with two non-content people, Lewis and Gaz. And <laughs> it, was, it was, we had a harder door, and it was just like, I don't know, I couldn't, couldn't get out. It. It was, it was like one during one of my self improvement times, yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna start lotioning. I'm gonna be a better man. Well, there's something. It's <laughs> almost like when you get uh, gym clothes and sneakers and shit. You kind of like feel like, all right, I'm gonna do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you get like a line, a whole line of everything you need to be like, here's how to not be ugly. Here's how to not look old. <laughs> It's like, okay, I got everything I need now. I just got to do it, you know? And it's like, I got to remember to put it on and use this and wash with that. But once you do it, you will be less ugly. And that is the name of the game. Forever, it was just like, girls get to be pretty and boys are ugly. That's just it. We make money. And then now they get to make money too. So we can't be, they're pretty and make money. We're ugly and make money. <laughs> the game, they're tying up the game. So get wood. Go to getwood.com, W-O-U-L-D. Or check out your local CVS. We're going to be in over 9,000 different CVSs when we fully roll it out right now. Check out to see if it is in your local store. Uh, or you can just go to getwood.com. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, deodorant, uh, all available in three different scents. They've got hair care. They've got body wash. They've got face wash, scrubs, moisturizers, all products. Everything is $15 or less. And it's made by a real cosmetics company so it's like actually real shit it's not just like me and dave and feidelberg were like concocting our own lotions no. this is a real we did give opinions on it though yeah. so i don't know <laughs> take that for what it's I worth mean, take you know <laughs> the, the gayest guys at bar still chime in <laughs> and it's not pat i, don't know if I love that scent <laughs> fuck do i know buy it yeah <laughs> so all right on to the second problem uh alex bennett talking about this influencer dave calling her off and telling her to delete it. Your thoughts? I think we need to think of a fucking nickname for Alex Bennett stands. Bennett? Cause... The Bennett the Butcher <laughs> is a fucking gangster. Jesus. Dude, I, I like, I don't, I usually kind of keep most of the stuff at arm's length. I'm not like, like, I don't want to hear about it, but also like, I don't know, sometimes it's a little convoluted and I don't feel like diving all the way into it. You should check out One Minute Man for those. <laughs> Alex Bennett had me enthralled, enraptured. And, 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 she and, and, is. An assassin. I was nodding assassin. my head. I was like, I was like, like I'm a 14-year-old yes, yes, listening yes, to yes, rap. Yes, I was yes, like, yes, tell yes. him. <laughs> yeah, Alex. Yes. <laughs> You're making some good points. I've never seen she Dave be... Portnoy take a beating like that. I really haven't. Because here's here's what's crazy about this whole thing. I'll, and I'll tell you how much I, lo I loved Alex Bennett's performance. I was. You said I, we need to come up with a name for their stands, yeah. and I was thinking like beehive and all those things. And I was think I'm trying to find out if there's a group of animals that has a bee word. You know what I mean, like a den of wolves or a flock of geese or whatever. Okay, I'm like googling that, trying to Bengals? figure. Bengals. Uh, there was there was something called like a bevy or something like a that. Bevy. But it, it, it was no good word. Okay, <laughs> but I'm telling you, I was trying to Google something to, to come up with a name to create a fan club for Alex Bennett. Um, she, she was just, it was entertaining. 
it was. I think. I think you call it. I don't know if it's a knockout because he's still standing. But yeah, I think you, it's a TKO. That was. Um. That was a TKO. That was like the Russian is cut. The Russian yeah, is yeah, cut. Yeah. Like. <laughs> like you know you can't beat Dave. But for, but, for people who've been taking a beating for ten years, it felt pretty nice. I was like, <laughs> one of us. One of us. <laughs> so so just, that's the thing. Just been getting worked around the ring for a decade. You've been getting <laughs> mentally tortured. For 15 years. Finally have a 27-year-old girl come up and stand up for me. And a babe, Alex! <laughs> it took a, a girl from Oklahoma and her mom sticking up for me. Don't ever talk to me or my son again! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so here, here's the thing. Here's the problem. I gotta get Alex Bennett's number in case I ever she never need to come to my rescue again. Now, now, so the Dave Portnoy show comes out, um, and Dave has put out videos, and like, I mean, this this is at a fever pitch here. Dave being like, shut the fuck up, and I, you know, a real video from Dave when you see it. I was <laughs> like, oh, oh god, like I was like, it's time to take your foot off the pedal, like, take, you know, like take take your foot off the throat. It's over. You won. I mean, it, 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 the thing about Dave. I have I've said Dave is the best arguer debater on the internet period maybe just like in the world. And while he's it's because he's very good at it it's also cuz he knows when to like he doesn't dive head first into a argument unless he knows he's right. Mm -hmm. If he's wrong he'll, he'll own it or he'll you know he won't like fully like latch onto it. He, but when he knows he's right and he's got the receipts and all that shit he just assassinates you. He was wrong at like every turn on this one. There was a lot of wrong. I I think the biggest or, thing was or, just or, that or, it was. Or, 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 I mean, listen, when she called him double standard Davy, it was like if there was a gal that was Latina that calorie, was a Portnoy move. I mean, that it, was it was crazy. that was and like was Jericho right, was, got put in the walls of Jericho. Yeah, yeah. that was like, <laughs> oh, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> You're using your own mobile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was off the rip. It was like very very beginning, right? Unless that was edited or something. It was like right away he was like, we've got Mean Girl Alex. She was like, well, if you're Mean Girl, if I'm Mean Girl Alex, you're double standard. Yeah, Dave. I was like, what? <laughs> Is that easy the whole time? You can just make up something like that? Yeah. This just is a very little alliteration simple. and we're good to yeah. go. Fuck. I should have done that 15 years ago. What is funny is people catching on I almost on called to. the police on her. Like, there's, there's no way you can argue like this. There's not allowed. I, I, it is funny when people uh, find out for the first time that Dave has double standards. Yeah. He, he openly says that for years. He's like, I treat people differently. Like, you can say things that you can and all that shit. But in this case... It was more about a double standard of like how Barstool operates. And there's just been a million times that somebody's personal friend is in the crosshairs from somebody at Barstool and they just got to fucking oh, wear it. I've, le I've learned a this. million I times. I stopped responding to those texts. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. When people are like, you know, what's up with your boy saying this about me? I'm like, dude, I, I, I knew happen. from the first jump. And it was it was back when I back in Milton. I, I don't even remember the ad agency. But it was like, it was like my friend worked at this ad agency, and she was the one who'd worked on an ad deal, and he wrote a blog just just trashing him, smoking it. Yep, and yep. I'm uh, these aren't comparable situations, but it was, and she was like, "What the hell? I'm crying. I'm like, then I'm gonna be fired." And I was just like, <laughs> "That's not me." But well, it's, but I'll it's find not. a new friend because <laughs> I'm not dealing Our with relationships this over. fucking at all. <laughs> I mean, countless times. That, like, I've been like, oh, well, that's going to ruin my chance of doing this yeah, and my yeah, relationship yeah. <laughs> with that. But there's no fucking way. If I knew that was the rules, I would have been asking for a million things to come down. But what's your number one video you're taking down? Mm. Well, there are things I think that are, like, on the whole probably were bad for everybody. But me personally. Uh, the Kaepernick, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Probably a good one to come down. <laughs> it's probably one that um I could benefit from in multiple ways. Pretty decent choice. <laughs> Just go through all of them. Right <laughs> we'll put them in here in case you haven't heard them. Yeah, we'll link to it in the YouTube. <laughs> we'll create a playlist. A little playlist. Play, play the greatest hits. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, the the Steve Cohen shit bothered me last year, where Nate, oh, Nate yeah, and yeah, Dave yeah. just like decided to make up that Steve Cohen's a criminal, <laughs> and it was just like, sorry that we're burning this entire bridge with you and your, you know, the, the one team that you have a podcast on, but um, but that so that, like the whole the whole day, I'm watching the way Dave is operating, and we're editing things and deleting things and taking videos down, and I'm like. 
what is going on? We just don't do this here. And then you find out that he knows this girl and they hang out in the Hamptons. And it's just like, oh, okay. Like, this is just. I think the uh, biggest thing, and I don't think they talked about it enough. Is that it was three years ago? Yeah. When Alex was a regular, I don't, I don't yeah, know her age. I call her twenty-seven earlier. I think she's something like that. Yeah. Um, she's like, a, she's just like a regular girl. I don't, yeah. I don't and know what girl, she was interning. And this girl, uh, the other girl, what we wore, or whatever we wore, what? Um, three years ago, she probably wasn't where she's at now, but she was like, she's a big deal. Yeah. Now she has millions of followers. It, so it's she probably like, had like a million followers. I think it would be much weirder if Alex, much more mean girl and much more. It's, I, I don't I don't love, I've never done that. I've never, I, I think that was like one of the first questions they've ever asked me in my intern interview was like, do you comment on the website? And I was like, no. Yeah. And he was like, okay. Yeah. And um, I told Alex to her face. I was like, I don't love that you were leaving those comments. Like yeah. that, that there's, there's no reason to do that other than to, you know, point it out. But also two things. One. Who fucking cares? People are mean on the internet. Like we've done. That's what thing. Like, like, like we, we every talk tweet shit I to... said, I don't love it, but I'm it's I'm something I know is gonna happen to me. Yes, and like and we, and my second point is like that is kind of a content thing for girls, like photoshopping pictures. Yeah, and do yeah. You, do you alter your photos or you know what I mean? So like I, I don't even know an, an equivalent, but it's like if a guy. Uh, if a guy deletes a tweet and we were and we're like, oh, this pussy deletes his tweets, uh, and girls are like, yeah, she photoshops her tweets, uh, photoshops her pictures, pictures, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's something that like girls talk about, and and that I was girl, gonna say like, I feel like every every celebrity ever does it. From, that's from why I don't even understand why it's whatever a thing this chick's name is to Beyonce. I think Beyonce's gotten trouble yeah. for photos. When Alex things. Cooper got caught and she was just like, yeah, I did it because like I'm insecure on the internet, and everyone was like, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. yeah, that's why everybody does it. I can't believe it's still a thing, but it is. And that girl. Uh, very often, I guess, comes under fire for it. So it's like a thing, you know. It wasn't like she's doing intentionally. It, yeah. Once you, once you come to fire for it once, like All right, I got to buy a better program now. That's what I mean. And, and you just and keep getting caught. So like, if it's a thing, and somebody was just commenting on it, and it's like not a very friendly topic of conversation, but it's just like I was just commenting. But on it, it, I, I, I do think it's one of those things too, where it's like, like you weren't. Do you never thought? I, I I don't know what Alex Bennett's career path was. I don't know what she ever wanted to be. Yeah. So maybe she always wanted to be in content. Right. But I thought I figured she was just interning at some regular ass yeah. company and, and just like that's got to be on the that's internet. What, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, most yeah. regular people at right. regular companies but, do. So then also I say that's what people like about Barstool. Like a lot of people in the industry probably won't talk about girls who Photoshop their pictures because they're like, I'm in the industry. Mm -hmm. And Barstool's always like, fuck that. We tell it like it is. Like girls want to know if this is fake or real. I'll tell you. I saw her today. It's it's altered, you know? Yeah. Like, also, like, I like, mean, like, like, under, you, underrated eye on Alex Ben. I couldn't tell you fucking shit about the Photoshop. Uh, I The pictures I saw, you could, like, you would know. Oh, really? Like they're, they're very drastically different. I can only tell by a wave on the closet door. Well, that's the thing is that, <laughs> but that's. I've, I've, I've been told to look for like. For the, the fingers are too long. Like the like the background's wavy. Much, no, but that's the thing. The, the pictures I saw were like, oh no, no, it's like night and day. It's like mm -hmm. it's not like, oh, I think there's a little, you know, it's just like you completely dressed yourself up, made yourself tanner, made yourself skinnier, jaw, you know, like. Well, well, I don't care about that, but I think some people do, and so like when you, I think when you put something, can you guys out, start doing that to us? That made the edit longer, yeah. probably. There have definitely been times I've been like, yo, can you <laughs> let's fix that up? <laughs> let's fix that up. Uh, like. If you again, I can't think of a let's let's start our KFC radio Photoshop controversy. Every all our photos, delete this part. Uh, make our waist <laughs> super tiny. Like, like make I, it. I Photoshop smiles onto you guys. <laughs> you Photoshop smiles onto us? Yeah, they're Photoshop. God, that's the most depressing I've ever heard in my yeah. life. Like, yeah. <laughs> Photoshop automatically does smiles now. So we can't even find the wait. So what the fuck happy. does that mean, bro? It's just <laughs> not my just smile just, on yeah, my face. No, you could have. And a, have I seen these pictures? And I can't tell that it's not my smile. Yeah, absolutely. Give me one. I've taken that What's photo that? and made you smile. Because you guys don't take headshots. Yeah. So you yeah. just make me smile in pictures? Yeah. I All of my facial expressions are deliberately chosen. No more fucking 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 smiling. This started yeah, out with those make look better on your next one. Don't you dare touch my photos. <laughs> yeah, go to neural filters. If you're watching on YouTube right now, uh, Pabs is just dropping a, tutorial a smile quick, into this photo. Uh, it's just like, like it's gonna be smart light portrait. work for them. Smile, drag. Wait, one second. I, I never usually go that high on it because it's going to give you teeth, I, I and the teeth are a pretty it. clear giveaway. Yeah, but I want to see what it, like how see bad it. it can how bad it can go. I mean, this is where we're living in like a deep fake future. This you know what is I mean? crazy town. You guys are putting fake smile. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Screenshot that bad. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> all <laughs> right, I'll tell you what. If you it's like that obvious, schooler. absolutely. Yeah, allowed. let's yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's. I want all of our pictures from now on to be like grossly photoshopped, <laughs> and like I want to be overly tan. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah, yes. Photoshop these things. Yes. This yes. is funny. Yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Go nuts. Go nuts. I oh, love it. Just uh, going back to normal. <laughs> oh, it's hair. Oh, thing. look at that. Can what we is that can, one? can we get a better hairline? <laughs> can I get tan and have a better hairline? Let's do that. <laughs> Fucking love Photoshop. This is oh, crazy. Why you bitches are, are eating each other alive for this. Everybody oh. should just do it. Yeah, th th this shit all just popped up in the past like two months on Photoshop. They also Fuck yeah. they can take if you take a picture of your house and just decide you want it to look like winter. It'll fucking add it. snow everywhere. It adds snow, yeah. all that shit. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, I mean, we're, we are living in the future, man, and all these girls still have a problem with it. But, this is, but people like, probably listen to this like they're learning about Photoshop right now. But, like, on the internet, if, if you put something out there, whether it's a piece of content, uh, a picture that's altered, uh, a video that's fake, a bad tweet, like, whatever... Is that me, me and him mixed or something? What is that? No, it's just, that looks that's like me a, and Dukes. Yeah, that does look like you and Dukes. Whoa, whoa, whoa! The blonde hair does not go well. For you. you put your shit out there. If it's bad or you get caught or whatever, you get tossed in the fucking blender. Mm. And then you you take your medicine and like like Alex pointed out about Alex Cooper, spin that shit into a positive or whatever, you know? Be like, oh my God, I'm just like every other girl and I'm so insecure, I'm sorry I did it, I shouldn't do it, blah, 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 blah. Like, th to, to block and then to call three years later of a problem and then to take it down because you're friends. Like, this is the fucking internet. This is what we were built on. This is how we operate. And, and you know, to, to try to come up with this line of like, it's entertainment versus being mean. It's like, well, well, here's why don't you ask the people who have been thrown in the fucking blender all these times if they think it's entertaining or if it's mean. This is where I was I was going to disagree with you because I do agree with the sentiment. I do. Yeah, I, I just I, don't think this is an example of it. I do. Uh, correct. Okay. Yeah. So I agree with the sentiment of entertaining versus mean. I'm sure throughout times on uh, in the decade I've crossed the line into yeah. mean, yeah. and I, I I hope I've gotten better at avoiding it. Blah blah blah. The one that sticks out. <laughs> Where I really wanted to just be downright mean to somebody was in the middle of Deflate Gate when Chris Mortensen got cancer. And I wanted the blog to just say good. <laughs> yeah, that would have not been that would have been mean. But that it also would have been, been pretty funny. Just a one word blog. <laughs> good. <laughs> Chris Mortensen was diagnosed with cancer. Good. good. <laughs> That's but even even if that happened, the internet is not a friendly place, man. If pe people are gonna dance on grades and shit. I ended up writing something very nice. And I I meant both sentiments. Yeah, well, yeah. I didn't mean the good like, one. But survive, the, the but good one's the asshole. funnier yeah, one. I yeah. didn't really mean it. I meant like, all right, we'll uh, put it aside. We'll make it better. But the fucking the goods, good, the good was the funnier blog. Absolutely, and that's and so mean is sometimes but funny. I knew it was too mean. So entertaining can be mean, and and then and then you get into a weird spot. My my example. So back in the day. I used to uh, crush Lena Dunham. I had like a running, <laughs> running blog series. Anytime she did something, you know, when she was fingering her sister, or she was, uh, you were like first on the train with that. Big time. Uh, you I and Jesus, that drum right? Early. Were like, yeah. like hated her. Yeah, that well, was. It's not even like, yeah, no, I, I hated her. I, I, I can't speak for Jesus. Jesus is the one who coined the "she looks like a bag of milk" <laughs> term. Um, uh, so he was clowning on her. I, I always blogged and wrote about the things she did. That were bullshit and like that were fraud or not funny or you know when she made up Odell Beckham like big timed her and and was rude to her mm -hmm. and you know, she was like no that never happened yeah. like and the weird thing about the the sexual stuff with the sister and the memoir and all these things that were like you're a fraud or you're just trying to make money or you're you know whatever it was and then and and don't get me wrong this was like. 2010 when you could say whatever you want so I was absolutely saying mean things so I'm not saying this was not mean but I would also then get people sending me articles about Lena Dunham to write about and they would just be like look Lena Dunham she looks fat in this picture <laughs> I'm not gonna just post a picture and be like you look fat you know what I yeah, mean yeah, yeah. it was always like they're doing something that's worthy of criticism you Correct. know so and when it does just become like you're beating up on somebody for their looks or something that's like in poor taste and, and that's where it's a very fine line because it's like you're gonna what you're gonna tell me, Kevin, you weren't being mean to her all those years, and it's like no, I was, but there was a point. I believe I was doing it in an entertaining manner, and I wasn't like punching down. 
in my mind. It's a celebrity. She's making money. She's doing well. You know what I mean? Mm. So there's like different rules to it. Now, the person who always is making the jokes, writing the blog, doing the podcast, is always going to be like, I thought that was funny. Yeah, yeah, I thought yeah, it was right. entertaining. And Dave is the end-all, be-all arbiter of this. So he can be like, I think it's funny. But when we're talking about we used to throw Nate in a birdcage, <laughs> when we used to, uh, you know, when we called Rhea ugly, when we threw wall wallets in Blind Mike's face, uh, <laughs> these are all things that are probably pretty mean. Yeah. And in Dave's mind, he's probably like, that was funny. Yeah. But those guys were like, that was fucking mean. Uh, so, I'll, I'll say this. It was funny. They were very <laughs> they were funny. funny. Right. And that, and that is where I do think Alex Bennett. I didn't. I didn't think the Rhea one was very funny. I didn't. I no, wasn't. Like, one, I wasn't like it's awful either. I was kind of. That wasn't on that funny. One. That was. But more Nate like, in the birdcage in the blind. I, I watched funny. the ball in the blind mic. That was funny. If we could put <laughs> Nate in a birdcage right now, I mean, I would. I, I still wish he was confined to a birdcage. And I wish that Simon Pirate Pirate Simon came back and wore a pirate yeah. costume for. You know, we we offered a kid a job. With the one condition that we got to humiliate him for thirty straight <laughs> days, we have this girl wearing beans on her socks for thirty days. <laughs> well, wow, well, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's pushing us around the ring on that. Can one. I, can I say my point? Nah, we're kind of on a roll here. Yeah, Later. in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> um, I was very happy when I, I heard that like there was drama all across the girls at Barstool, and I was like, thank God, yeah, he's been in here for four hours with us, and like, yeah. I know she's not a part of this. Um, the but but so like I don't think Alex pointing that out on on Instagram was very funny. So I can understand that that could be considered mean. Um, but I think the three years ago when she's not, someone, I agree. I think that's so a that big that's a mitigating circumstance. I think that what ha ended up happening with Hannah eventually becomes uh, not necessarily mean because if you if you do something or say something that you're, you're an asshole. Like I said, you got to take your turn on the blender. This just happened to be a particularly rough blender because, like, the whole fucking company was on well, one I, side. I didn't see – and now I can't speak for everything. I didn't see every single thing that was said yesterday. What I saw, which wasn't a ton, to be honest. I think, I, I, but I, I do think – we neither of us watched The Yak, and I okay. do think The Yak was part of it. I went back. I actually looked at, like, the threads – not threads. What do we call it? Twitter timelines of, like, Viva La Stool and – Yeah. I don't know. Any any Twitter that – It was the be, content versus not content, That would right? be doing that stuff. Yeah. And, like, I, I, yeah, there were some photoshops of Mean Girls. I didn't see anything that crossed the line into me. Right. Again, but I didn't see everything, about so a, I don't know. A new employee, someone who hasn't been in there yet. Like, it's, you know, it is not, the internet is not a nice place. Barstool's not an easy place to work. The internet's not a fun place. When you fuck up or do something embarrassing, you are going to get made fun of. You're going to get criticized. It it sucks. It hurts your mental health. It hurts your feelings. It's not good for, I mean, Th these are just facts of the world, yeah. and like we—I didn't invent the internet. I don't have, you know, I just play by these rules. Oh, I want to work. Can I do a side note real quick? You see what I retweeted last night? No. And it was like, how do we make the internet suck this bad this fast? And it's Elon Musk tweeted. Oh God, it's just disgusting. I got it right here. It is. I will eat a Happy Meal on TV if McDonald's accepts Dogecoin. This is, and I looked it up to make sure this is real. This isn't Photoshop. Yeah, that's real. Burger King replied, "Only a king's, only a king knows what the coin do. The coin do." And Slim, and then Jim, Slim Jim, Jim replied, him "Tell him with the crown." Ugh. It makes me wanna fucking die. Yeah. Last no, night I thought about I thought about going home. Yeah. Just just, leave, just being done with it. Let, let my apartment go back to the earth. Yeah. I'll go fucking. Well, I don't know. Work it. I don't even know what I did before this. We, I don't even know what my life was. We are, this, that's the thing. We I'll go we, rediscover we are, it. We're still at the very, very like infancy of the internet. Where like we were, I'm so happy to be able to say like when I kicked the bucket, that like we were around for like the the purest. Like we got like the pure internet cocaine. <laughs> we got that Columbia. Yeah, we, there's no fentanyl in our shit. Yeah, no, we, none of this is stepped on. We got the real shit when it was first starting, and no one knew how to exploit it. No one knew how to monetize it. No one knew how to make it corporate. No one knew how to do anything except be mean to each other and find porn and make people laugh. And that was fucking it. And so that's steel music. Steel music. <laughs> like that. That is what the internet is. You, you work at Barstool. You get to live this like fantasy fucking life where you probably make some good money and every now and then you're going to get blasted and it sucks. And if you don't want to, don't fucking work. Yeah. Don't work it, on the internet. It's, uh, and, then, I, and Barstool is heightened. Like you can go work other places that will probably be less fun and you'll make less money and you'll have less of a star or whatever. And then when you come to Barstool, all that's heightened, but so is the shitty part. And that's the fucking internet and nobody can stop that. Nobody can change that. No. So... That that to me, I just it was just like a boy. These are not the rules that we've been playing by for a long time. It was it was it was, it was there was I I will admit I was I was taken aback. Yeah, I was taken aback by some stuff yesterday. But it's also it was, uh, I know, get it. Like, I I understand. Yeah, yeah, and there are pros and cons to things changing. I, like. 
There, we we it's, like yeah, to it's, fucking. It's not good that I I'm depressed. <laughs> you know, it's not good that the internet has ruined my life. We... And if I could have existed at a bar stool where none of the bad happened, I would love that. Yeah. I just don't think it's possible. But I guess it's good that we're trying. We we wax poetic about attempt. Milton, and it, and it, it is because we actually have Donnell Rob um, Donnell Robinson Rawlings Rawlings Donnell Rawlings. Jesus, sorry. Um, we actually have Donnell Rawlings on the show today. And he kind of talks about when people get, I think he's using billionaires. We are not an example of billionaires. Uh, where like they don't even like talking about their money. They only talk about like coming up. Yeah. And that's 100% yeah. what we do. We, yes. we the, wax poetic. The, the, we the reminisce age, about the good old villain. days. And how we, the, and we used to get, we still had to get like, like those videos weren't better. No. <laughs> like, they, and they were like, there was like three videos total. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was like the, the Combine, King Richard's Fair, and like anime porn with you guys. Like that's it. <laughs> there was... Though those aren't better, but like it is, there is something fun talking about the old the nostalgia. Days. Yeah. So there's there are better times. It's trying. To, let me let me uh, gather my thoughts here. But like, it's better to have grown, but it's just it's definitely different. Different for there's, sure. There is a and, there's and a, you will always there's a star a stark difference. Yes. There's a change. There was a, a boom, a, a, an AD and a BC. And also what's going on here, there's a, a huge, I don't know why, well I do know why, it's sexism. There's just a huge difference when it's guys and girls. Yeah. Like I did One Minute Man breaking it down and the comments are all like, who cares about this? This is just Barstool Housewives, Barstool reality show, blah, 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 blah. If it was my video that got taken down and it was me versus Dave, it would be like, this is what we love, Barstool, this is the mud, blah, blah, blah. Mm. It's like people just find girl drama to be catty yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and like, you know, grading and guy drama is more like interesting to to guys. So like, there's just there's an element of it when it is girls. There's an element of it that it's a new. I love it because I'm like I don't I don't care about any you motherfuckers. <laughs> like, I don't, when it used to be like oh man, you know like John's in the wrong. I but he's my boy. I got to ride for him. What do I say? How do I do this? Now it's like I don't like, fucking John put up that cancer block. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like what do I do? He <laughs> shouldn't have said also... Chris Mortensen good. They shouldn't have done it, but I got to ride for him. <laughs> it is also like interesting because it's just it's just human nature when something affects you it's a much bigger deal yeah. like i'm sure there are gonna be people who don't like that cancer joke and right. they're gonna be like my dad died of cancer like fucking so everyone so everyone's dead dad. Yeah. and then there are gonna be like people are like well that's my friend so like it makes it more uh, real yeah, to you, me uh, and you uh, I, I understand the need and that's to protect, why yeah. i mean that's why dave was like i i'm friends with this girl why did you do this right. but it's just hard when you've had like this 20 year reign of like no mercy. Yeah. And yeah. then we're doing, we're giving out mercy. You know, it's like, that's, that's bullshit. Um, but, um, oh, I, I, I say all that, like, I don't care about anything except fucking Bennett the Butcher. She's like, you know, she's my queen. Now, ben, so. Bennett the Butcher was the star of the day, yeah. I think. Uh, Jackie, you had some stuff to say earlier. Yeah. yeah. All, I, all I wanted to say was. All right, that next topic. We got to go. <laughs> no, her mic was off at one point, right? During the Dave Portnoy show. During the Dave Portnoy show. And your whole point was that this wouldn't happen with Dave. Like, you wouldn't have forgotten the mics if it were Dave because Dave, like, you know, yeah. lets it rain or whatever. Uh -huh. But every single time, I don't know if I should even say this, but every single time I've watched the Dave Portnoy show, I'm sorry, but there's been some kind of bad, production bad issue. production issues. And well, as we, as we see, Dave's gotten soft. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. Those are good points. Yeah. And... And so you know what? Throw them under the bus like you always do, Jackie. <laughs> Name names on the Dave Bordeaux show. No. The non-content people who you think aren't doing a good job. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying like also, but then that's what he wanted is he wanted like just it doesn't even matter about production. Just get it out. But we do good production and we get it out right away. Yeah, you do. So. I know. I, I, that's that was why I, you, right. you guys are the best. Good point. You guys Thank are the you. best uh, in the business. And. And I don't think we talked about it on the show, did we yet? Nick fucked up my mic on Friday Night Pints. <laughs> what? Yeah, she didn't know that. She didn't know that. Neither <laughs> of them knew that. I didn't tell either of them. <laughs> I hope I hope a camera's on no, you right Nick, now. No, Nick yeah. has to wear bean socks. <laughs> uh, no, no Nick, because Nick I is fixed earned, the audio. Yeah, so, so here's what happened. I did, well, so I'm at Whistlepig. Well. <laughs> I'm at Whistlepig, and uh, we've wrapped up Friday Night Pints, and I've like, we're, I think we're um, lighting the fire and all that shit, and I take my mic off, and the pack is off. And I was like, that's not good, because I definitely didn't open it up and turn it off. <laughs> so I show it to Nick, and I was like, this is off. Like, the battery's probably died. Like, we don't know. I don't know when this, this could have been a minute ago. This could have been two and a half hours ago. Like, we don't know. This fucking guy, give him a, an Oscar. He's like, no, 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 it's fine. It was just, it was probably just like a, you know, afterwards, it, blah, 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 blah. I, I was just like, 
okay, that doesn't seem right, but okay. <laughs> and then I get the text later. He's like, so your mic was off during Friday Night Pines, yeah. so the batteries did die, but I was able to uh, fix the audio with the shotgun mic, and I was like, I, I actually called John. I was like, should we should we kill him for this or not? And I was like, we'll wait to see if there's a stark difference in the audio. And there wasn't. So he did some yeah. shit. We where, did not get tweets about it. Yeah. Oh. If, if people yeah. were like, your mic sucked, then I would have killed him. But uh, I wouldn't have killed him because, again, double standard. But... Uh, <laughs> but but I was like, I was like, we gotta let her know at some point just so she can have. Also, can have you're that. not even wearing beans in your socks. And yeah, where's you're your not shirt? Even getting caught where's we your shirt at? We just because we haven't gotten the picture because he deleted the picture. But I I'm fucking a nice I, boss. I know, but I texted. No, you accidentally deleted the picture. That has nothing to do. But with the her. reason why, <gasps> yes, the reason why it was even possible for me to delete it and have it not be archived on the fucking internet is because I didn't tweet it right away because I knew how upset it was gonna make you. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. But because <laughs> then I could delete it from my phone and it would have lived on the internet for. Because the internet's not a nice place. But I immediately texted Spider and I said, "Where do you get your shirts? Whatever." And yeah. then I texted all my friends. I said, "Send bad pictures to me." And yes. I said, "I will get you a new picture right. since you deleted that." I was willing to do that. And yes. then you said, "So we're no. working on it." But I tried to take a picture of you yesterday during yeah, our you're interview. Like you always you have a like, double chin, like whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like that. And I started to pick my phone up, and then you moved, and I was like, "God damn." Yeah, that's what yeah. the other night I came in during, like she was editing. I don't know. Do you fully go asleep when you edit? Because <laughs> I walked in and, like, I walked around you. I realized, like, oh, shit, I could get the picture now. And I started walking back, and Pavs, you had said something. So, she, like, she, perked she up. like. Yeah, hey, we got to let her go I, like, full narcoleptic. Yeah. So let nar let Jackie go, like, catatonic, and mm -hmm. we'll get the picture. And then yeah. your punishment can start. Okay. And I'll do it. But the point was. Everybody fucks up. It's not just you guys. <laughs> the good, it's a, yeah. like, the yeah. point is taken. The point, I, the point is what taken. I think we need to work on, because Mean Girl is such a hit, I think we need to work on a Bean Girl, Mean Girl <laughs> crossover. I do like that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe get, I, I think they're putting out get, Mean Girl get, get merch. A get a meme of that let's, one going. Let's yeah. get, yeah, like like the fucking <laughs> Drake meme. Like, yeah. Mean Girl. Mean Girls. Mean Girl. Mean girls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're gonna, your legacy is going to end up being Bean Girl, and you're going to love it one day. No. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Do you can where where do you consider yourself in the content non content debate? Oh. <laughs> Jackie regularly, I would say two times a week, says, "Am I famous?" Yeah. <laughs> so I think we know where. Literally every time. Am I famous? No, I consider myself non. I could tweet out like at least five or six videos of Jackie right now asking, "Am I famous?" That's yeah. all. That's all a joke because I'm non content. It's called jokes. no. I think I think it's you have jokes. I think about you them. have the best mix of. Well, not not you personally. I think it's I think it's you, and then I think it's probably like Billy and Jake and stuff like that. Where like you definitely float in both worlds. Yeah, Hank does the same thing too. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have your own fucking segment. What? You have your own segment. I know, but I'm 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 a producer. Yeah. Senior yeah. producer, as I gave myself the title. <laughs> <laughs> Nick is shaking his head no. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there, but not, not yet. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it's a big time. Hashtag not my, not my bar stool. I've noticed Gaz has been very quiet on the hashtag not my so bar So I texted him not my bar stool, no answer. No. I, uh, the, has, the creator but of he, not my bar stool he, has been he, quiet. He, on he did say, um, imagine if Alex Bennett was bashing anybody who talks shit. Yeah. Imagine if Alex Bennett asked someone to delete videos or edit their podcast because they were talking about the Thunder organization. Ah, okay. Because yeah, her yeah. father-in-law well, owns this isn't, this isn't not my barstool, Gaz. This is... Potster, Gaz. Potster, Gaz. Yeah, this is Little Finger, Gaz. Gaz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that Potster, Gaz, stopped short of not my barstool guys because he realized how mad his boss is yeah <laughs> and i think guys is a cockroach probably made knows. a because guys makes better decisions than we do yes absolutely <laughs> guys is guys is a uh, little finger because he knows when to stop whereas i and uh, we are like a slave to the content where it's like i gotta say something you know he knows like he's a cockroach he'll survive the apocalypse because he'll never go too far yeah <laughs> he'll like piss you off and dave will be mad but like when he's really mad he just Homer Simpson into the bush. Like, I'm Miami. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the, I'll tell you this too. Obviously, Bennett the Butcher scares me. Jordan Woodruff terrifies me. That that crew, they are a wrecking ball. They Why are. Is they, Jordan scary? I don't know. She just scares me. Those eyes scare me. Yeah. She's 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 like plotting. She's, I don't think I, 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 the I, only I, one I've seen who's who scares action, me yeah. is Bennett. 
Bennett scares me. But, but, but here's the thing. Bennett, I'm like, I'm not going to get on Bennett's bad side. You know? No. I feel like no. I could just end up on the bed. Like, I, I might, I'll might, i be like, you know what? I don't fucking like Khloe Kardashian. And, she'll be, and then, I'm, then I'm in the crosshairs. You know I mean? <laughs> I'm going to say something wrong on one minute, man. And Woodruff's going to fucking eat my soul. These girls are scary, dude. <laughs> girls are terrifying, man. Oh, scary as creatures on earth. They can ruin everything. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, so we got... We got uh, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, I just need to be gay. <laughs> it's the best. It fucking is, man. And so, uh, yeah, that's the day that Barstool died. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, we, got, we got Donald Rawlings on the show. Mm. Unbelievable interview. Uh, recapping his days at Chappelle show. Some inside talk about his favorite skits uh, during Chappelle show. Also talking about all the things he's done in his career, uh, all the doors that it opened, and just like some insightful talk from a very funny guy with a, a, one of the all-time great voices and deliveries. He's just so fucking funny. Angie Larry, Donald Rawlings on the show. We also got... Um, when, our, real quick, just so we forget. When I said Rollins, can you just... I fixed it. But you, uh, we also got uh, Am I the Asshole and voicemails. We'll get to Johnny Notebooks first. I, it's one, honestly, it's not even a notebook part okay. of the segment. It's just one question I have. Okay. Uh, well, John, John's brain works different. We know that. Um, it's just something to do with the chemistry up there, bro. I don't know. There's just something going on up there. And I, I, I don't remember why I lost the thread. We were talking about something during all that, and I had in my head the R word. And I was going to say, like, <laughs> I got two R word uncles. And maybe it runs in the family. I don't know why I was gonna bring any of this up. You sound like you're uh, you're on fucking three G, bro. <laughs> sound like you, that sound like you popped a gummy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I lost it. Well, I was gonna say I usually aspire. I don't aspire to have your brain right now because you're an idiot. <laughs> but I usually aspire to get to John's level of don't give a fuckness. And many, many, very few people can attain that uh, naturally. And I need a little something, a little supplement to help me get there. You like my carafe move, by the way? Yeah, it's good. I've been getting carafes of wine because I told you it's once a month. We get that monthly order of 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 of, of water. We it's ran out. Good. We ran out like it's two weeks ago. It's a terrible pour. pour. <laughs> <laughs> terrible pour. I now you're doing it on purpose. No. <laughs> no? Wait, that's <laughs> not. This is not on purpose. That's not. Like you finished with the piss. Like, Give right. me that. That was not on purpose. Uh, that was that was not real. That was on purpose. It was not on purpose. You spilled that much just Towards naturally. The end of the I was laughing and shit. Okay, so now start laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it's also less water. That doesn't count at all. I mean, that I don't know. I don't count. know if the camera's caught it. John just poured like all over his that arms. Please that was insane. On my hand. That was nuts. Did the cameras catch that? That was preposterous. Uh, anyway, I like... I, was, I thought it was a pretty good pour up until the end. The end, I lost it a little bit. Yeah, but you were saying this is a good pour. I thought you were being ironic. Well, the end, you saw, I said it was a good pour, but from before a good pour, it was a good pour. After a good pour, I started laughing and kind of started bouncing around. You are dumb. <laughs> what do we got from that cursed book? It's, it's just one simple question. Ugh. And it's really more for Jackie, really, I guess. So I, ha I do this thing, right? I, I have a protein bar, late night snack. Ugh. Real late night. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. Oh, right. You're not supposed to eat it before like dinner, uh, before bed. No, it's a, it's a. Uh, you don't even know, bro. You didn't work at GNC in college, did you? <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, my favorite Feidelberg wrinkle. Like, I, we we tweet this out. Like, what's your favorite Feidelberg? Is it like hockey Feidelberg or Patriots Feidelberg? My favorite Feidelberg is GNC Feidelberg. <laughs> bro, I was. You, talking... you worked there for probably like six months. I mean, the the content we got out of bro, that thing. I worked there for. Maybe six to eight months. <laughs> Most of the time, asleep in the back room because it was in a strip mall. Like no one I came, yeah. so I just locked the door. Be back in five minutes. Some people would have to knock to get into the fucking GNC, dude. And uh, but I, I had to fucking GNC. Feidelberg was out last night. What do you mean? To oh, throwing to around some weights, David Ortiz stuff. Oh uh, yeah. No, no, I sold plenty of stuff back in East <laughs> Providence. That would have had. That would have popped them on that test. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, that. I, he was totally When on people it. came in, I knew, like, this guy wants testosterone, testosterone. I'll take him to this stuff over here. <laughs> then go through FDA approval pops. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the, uh, so I, I, I eat a uh, casein protein is a slower dissolving protein. 
Okay. Okay. And you have those at night or in the mornings. You want to have a whey protein, a faster absorb, a dissolved and absorbed God, protein. I, I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back. You wanna... <laughs> I hate this so much. I can't tell you how much I hate this conversation. <laughs> so what I do is I have I have ha it's a bigger bar. Uh -huh. So I have half of the protein bar at night. Uh -huh. Fall asleep with it in my bed. Amazing. Occasionally, yeah. <laughs> occasionally wake up with a bunch of crumbs fucking everywhere. Naturally, and then that's my breakfast when okay. I wake up. I have it in bed. So then, once what I do is I usually get up once I, I have my breakfast. I usually watch an episode of a TV show, eat the second half of my protein bar that's been sitting out all night, and then I fucking go to the bathroom. Let, let your dick sit on the granite. <laughs> sink, yeah. Right? yeah. Brush my teeth, and, and I just throw out the wrapper in the and the. In the bathroom trash sink. near yeah, the toilet. Garbage, yeah. yeah, near the toilet. Yeah. But like today it kind of hit me as I brush my teeth because I don't really throw anything else out. I don't have tampons and shit. I don't really throw anything else out in my trash yeah. except for protein bars. Yeah. So it just looks like I eat protein bars That's on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> What's the level of disgust there? So I, I took them all out and just put them in the, in the kitchen trash. I was like, if you walked into a guy's <sighs> yeah, apartment it, and yeah. he just had a fucking. Bunch of bunch of protein oh, bar. Yeah, discuss it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need an option. You go home with a guy. He's either got a cheetah print rug or protein bar bathroom garbage. A cheetah print rug. Wow. That's your, your, that's I, the, a protein bar. Like I assume exactly what you just said. Yeah. yeah like like just, he just sits there and just hammers. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest. It's not much better what you do. Dude. Yeah, what are you talking about? What I do do is completely fine. <laughs> What's wrong with that? I eat Leave it, it out overnight and have this fucking It's a fucking half and it's half like a granola thing. bar. I don't get stale. They're born stale. Yeah, that's true. It's not granola like bar is worst thing that has ever caught on. <laughs> I don't know how those are a thing. Those are terrible. I, I don't mind a granola bar. This one's not They're actually a granola disgusting. bar, but it's one you know, it's made up of protein. Nutrigrain bars, I will bad. accept granola granola bars. Ugh. Ugh. I, I I like it. Like a nice chewy bar? Terrible. Terrible. And then those are like the, the chewy bar with the peanut butter and chocolate. Yeah, that's like that's that's bad. I don't like that, but that's also just like a candy bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we're yeah. talking about like kind bars, I think. Ugh. Uh, I will uh, a honey and oats garbage. That's nonsense. That's, terrible. Yeah, that's terrible. It's just a mess. You make an absolute mess. Like, with one of those let me just things. eat like a, a stick with honey all over it. But a kind bar I can fuck with. Well, particularly the sea salt and chocolate. Um, no, all there's, of this is trash. All there's the raw bar. I think that is called, or, or pure bar, where it's just like all that's in this. Six egg whites, yeah. three <laughs> fucking almonds, 19 blueberries. <laughs> Those are pretty good, actually. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't really think that's a, I think it's more of a protein bar than a granola bar. But I fuck with all those things. We sell them at GNC. I'll hook you up. <laughs> GNC final so it's, so it's just, I mean, it's, it's what I thought. It's disgusting. Yes. Yeah. It's totally. Like, I can't even imagine the look on girls' faces when they're just like, what has been happening in here? <laughs> just, just like seven fucking protein yeah. bar wrappers by the toilet. <laughs> Nothing else in there. Like, what else does a guy throw out in the toilet? Uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, occasional, like, tissue, maybe? Not really. No. There's just, like, cum and granola bar wrappers <laughs> in there. Ugh. I flush. Flush? flush. You, flush. you come flush. right in the toilet? I flush cum. <laughs> Where do you well, come? Well, like, no, if I come on a, to on a fucking toilet paper, like, yeah, come as I don't use, I use fucking t-shirts and stuff. Yeah, bro. boxers. Bro, it's I, like yesterday's boxers. Any Anything you see me in, it's covered in my semen. <laughs> Yo, if you, if you encounter a male over the age of 13... Just assume he is covered in cum. <laughs> From like 13 on, there is just cum everywhere. It's, like, it's on clothes. If it's not it's outerwear, it's, it's, it's drenched in cum. <laughs> it's not even drenched, it's dried in cum. It's dried, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's been it's, washed it's and stuff just, like that, but, but sometimes I don't know how together. black lights work. No, that, oh, that lasts forever, bro. If, all right, you, yeah, so you, like, if we like, just jokingly put a black light on, <laughs> oh my God. look like I was like a fucking... Would you rather me hit you with a black light or a lie detector <laughs> test thingy? Black light. Yeah. Just, I just said I'm covered in cum. <laughs> I won't tell you my lies. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you, could, you, could, you could flip the light, hit me with the black light. There might be so much cum you wouldn't notice that it's a, like, the black light because it would all be white. I'm like, oh, no. You'd what are you, like, an idiot? No, gray shirts become purple and dark. Yeah, exa exactly. <laughs> when it's all one color, you'd assume there's no cum. It's just that it's all cum. <laughs> But the lie detector mm. test terrifies me. <laughs> you hook me up to that thing and start firing away questions. It's like, nope. Like, I have so much cum on me right now. 
<laughs> ask me questions about my comments everywhere. I'll answer that honestly. Don't ask me anything else. Hey, yikes. <laughs> Five minutes, I would imagine. <laughs> All right, dude, my asshole. What's your asshole thing? Uh, is it? Mine's is, just like, like, it's, it's just like a general question. It's like a voicemail type question. Okay. Is it like, can you think it's gonna need another five minutes afterwards or? No. All right, let's hear it. So I was thinking about this last night because I'm extremely depressed and I hate yeah. everything about myself. All I need in this and life also, is I had this conversation it's me with and depression. What do you What age do you guys think it's like the worst to turn? I not like B, right? Like the birthday but, like, turning. Yeah, right. Because like I told them, like both of them are 22. I said 23 fucking blows. Because you're now officially out of like call, you can't be like, oh, I'm a, like college age type, whatever. But also, like, I don't know. Like, I hate being like 24. I also feel like you're it's, only 24. Oh, shut the fuck up. I'm no, no, well, no. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Is like to me right now. Well, this is also coming from a different thing that I don't need to talk about I, on the I, podcast. But I think the real answer would be uh, a, a shifting answer that is probably always like 10 years, like, like. Ten years younger than me, I will be telling like everyone, like shut the fuck up, you're young. You oh right, you know. But what I'm mean? saying like turning like, like my brother just turned thirty. Yeah. Like, and I don't think that's like it's not that big a deal anymore. Like anymore, yeah, I yeah. guess. Like it's not. But like, if thirty is not a big deal, like, twenty four is fucking nothing. No, dude. I know, but I'm saying like. I know it feels. Yeah, I mean, I get what you're saying. It's kind of like you know when when you're a, a college student and you feel yeah. like your homework is the most important thing in the world, and if right. you fail a test, you're gonna kill yourself, and then right. you learn one day that like none of that matters. <laughs> but I think. For, I think it's different for guys and girls. I think for a guy, thirty doesn't matter. I think forty. I, when I, I mean, I started thinking about forty, and I was like, forty is like I'm halfway dead, and that's like you're an old person. And I don't. I, I forty. I think forty is the. I think fifty is kind of like you can be almost like I'm hoping I'm like a silver fox or like the cool older guy. I think forty is like you're in no man's land. You're not yeah. young. You're not old. You're just a dad. You're probably like at your fattest because like 50, you start to like work out again because you got more time. You know whatever it is. Mm. I think 40 is probably like your most stressful, ugliest, worst existence as a guy, and you're officially like old. Unless you're rich, then none of this matters. Um, I think that it's it's the. I don't I don't have an answer for this because I'm trying to think of like the fight scene movie, the fight or like training scene where someone's just like sitting at the bottom of a pool, and that they're just sitting like cross-legged down there mm -hmm. maybe it's ali no ali was like boxing in the pool i forget there's someone who was just like someone's just across like the bottom of an ocean i know exactly uh, well, pool okay yeah but what, what what does that mean that's where i've been every year on my birthday or not every, on my birthday just that's where i've been every year so like it's not i haven't gotten lower there's no point where it's just like i don't know it's just this is the year i'm turning there's, there's never yeah, been yeah, i've yeah. never had a year like oh i don't want to turn well, because your life hasn't changed that's what i'm saying yeah and like yeah. it's it's ne there's never been a birthday where i was like too like excited about it there's never been a birthday where i was too fucking down about it yeah and I'm, maybe one will come one day but i i don't i don't have an answer i i've i've definitely thought last year was the worst year ever and then the next year comes um <laughs> but it is i mean I'll, I'll say this i do a lot of um birthday cameo videos and when people ask me to do a 31st birthday shout out mm -hmm. I flat out, I'm like, your friend's an asshole. What are we doing here? <laughs> Who gives a fuck that you're turning 31? L the most irrelevant of ages. 30, 31. 31. What is 31? 31, 31 is, is you're not 30. You're not at a milestone. 31 years old, kill yourself. <laughs> uh, tw I think. I, I, had, I mean, I had a few mental breakdowns, so I guess you could look, check the game tape. You could probably find. I don't know if that has a, to do with just the age you are. I think that just has to do with the year you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You could have had that if you had, if you were 34, if you were 35, if you were 36, you were going to have those mental breakdowns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so every year for the rest of your life. Yeah. The answer is every year. First of all, great to hear. <laughs> <laughs> you want no, the real answer. Well, that's what I will. Yeah. I guess I don't really because know so because I think when you're a guy, you get to do 21. That's everybody gets to do 21. I was gonna say 22 suck. I remember 22, 22 was pretty relevant. really sucked. Because 22 it was like, like now, it, well, because 21 is like the last birthday you sell it, like yeah, really celebrate. Because obviously you 22 is like 31's like, younger brother. They're dating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like and it's then, like yeah, this is pretty irrelevant too. But like 31 is really irrelevant. Right. Yeah, and then you turn 23, and you I hope both of your lives collapse. Thank you. 23, but like, but like, I, I, uh, you know, it's, 
it's very hard to tell young people anything like you should feel this way because you're gonna you're living it you're gonna feel it and then when you're my age you'll say it but like I really think you should be able to have the perspective to understand that 23 is not different than yeah, 22. Yeah, I, I get when you're and 24 17. is not different than 23. When like, it, these <laughs> years are all the fucking same. When you, when you're a child, I get being like, "This is the worst breakup I'll ever have," yeah, and this yeah. math test is so right. important. But you guys aren't idiots anymore. You're, yeah, you like like I think you should have. <laughs> no, these guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> these guys are idiots. Uh, but I think you should have the perspective to be like, yeah, 20, 20 to like twenty eight. Is like all a party and mm. like fucking and boozing. I was out the other night and my friend just got absolutely blackout drunk, like couldn't even stand up. And like we helped him out. And the next day, like one of our friends were like, "Listen, we're like we're 22 years old now. Like we, we can't gotta, be doing this we anymore. Help our brothers yeah. out and their dad." I'm just being like laughing at. Him. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And I was that's like, crazy. I, I'm a child. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You should keep that energy for another four years. At least. Yeah, yeah. We're 22 now. Like, all right. I, I think people put a ton of stock in 30. Especially chicks, where like I have to be married or I have to have kids by the time I'm like 32 or whatever. I think all of the, I think, I think the whole fucking uh, timeline needs to be overhauled because of the internet and modern. I think it has been, but I, I think, I think people like I don't think it has. I think it, it, it in practice has, but people still think of like 30 and they freak out and then they realize they don't need to freak out. Yeah, we need to like officially move that to 40 or 35 or whatever. The only thing that sucks is the biological clock doesn't move with technology. If girls could get knocked up later in life. It and doesn't. They, and they kind of can. No, I mean, like, there's better me medicine and there's better doctors, so it helps a little bit. But like, girls are, you know, they're meant. To, like, you get your period when you're like 13, but no one's having fucking kids when you're fucking 13. Through. But these periods don't last longer. Periods still stop at when? <laughs> uh, periods stop when you get when you have menopause. But Which is that? That's that's, yeah, that's later. I knew that. I knew that's that. later. But like your fertility. So you can goes, still get knocked up until then. You can, but it's just like high risk and. <laughs> Not likely and all that shit. So they feel like they got to do it now. We need to get some doctors to get on the fucking record and be like, you can have kids when you're 38. Relax. Yeah, fucking plenty of doctors out here saying COVID's not real. How about some yeah, saying we need it. My mom had one at 39. Yeah, like yeah. it can happen, but I think 39? people just that's, worry. Like, that's old? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's old. So you're, yeah, you, you, you. That actually if, feels kind of cool. You, I'm, just kinda, you, I'm just kind of killing time for like six more years. <laughs> Yeah, you're just, you're just trying you're just to kicking the can, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I believe if you have a pregnancy mm. after 35, they call it a geriatric pregnancy. After 35? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. It's it's like in your 30s, you can have a geriatric pregnancy. I'm going to put that one in my back pocket. Yeah, that's <laughs> like, you know, you know what girls don't like to hear? That. Yeah, we got, we got two years till all my friends start getting called geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, is, that is not what they want to hear. The G word? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, would you like a geriatric dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Everything you're doing, geriatric. I fucked a geriatric last night. She's 34. <laughs> you want a geriatric glass of water? Is everything just becomes Everything's geriatric. geriatric. I'll get you geriatric beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, all right, let's get into Am I the Asshole, huh? Brought to you by Baked by Melissa. Valentine's Day is coming. We already said you got to do your flowers no matter what. That's bar none, bare minimum. Got to do it. But you got to add something a little extra. And you can go with the regular old, you know, the can't misses. But why don't you uh, send something a little, little baked with a little extra love? Because, listen, food is the way to anybody's heart. Yeah. You give them some good snacks, some good sweets. Especially in Italians. Oh, the Italians will love it. <laughs> you got yourself an Italian girl for Valentine's <laughs> Day. You get some baked by Melissa. Uh, they are handcrafted, sweet, uh, the sweetest hand-delivered, handcrafted uh, pastries and treats for your Valentine. Mini desserts. They're like little, like Kelly Keeg's got these for her birthday. Those little fucking... Um, Cupcakes like this big. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all I my think. friends and I get them for each other. Like we're all obsessed with it. We all get it for each other. There you go. Guys. The jacked up mm. crew is eating them left and right. I think how many baked by Melissa uh, cupcakes do you think you could eat in one sitting if you tried? Not like how many do you want to? Like if I told you you have to eat as many as you can. I don't know. Endless. Yeah, I feel like it could go forever. It, yeah, it, it would be. I'm trying to think. I, I was trying to think of the. I was trying to do math and I'm kind of stumbled. But I think they're like five by five, maybe so twenty-five to a sheet. Yeah, let's say three sheets. Seventy-five. Seventy-five. That's actually funny. I was gonna say seventy-five too. Yep. Three, three stacks. My, my, my uh, three stacks. <laughs> my like eating abilities is with 
with sweets. Like, I can't eat, like, a lot of wings or anything like that, but, like, you give me some of these cupcakes that I like, I think I might hit triple digits. Just I, don't, they were, I think I'd hit 50 before my body even realized I was eating. It. I was, I was just, just going to say, if you didn't ask me, you would just keep and going. And I just did it. Yeah. You could ask me at 75. I'd be like, I could probably do 75. Uh, yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So they got the little mini cupcakes. They've got macaroons. They've got gluten-free desserts. Shout out to the gluten-free community out there. Um, so uh, long distance, they'll ship it um, wherever uh, with their Valentine's Day gift boxes nationwide. So vegans, gluten-free, chocolates, um, uh, nut free the the cupcakes all of that available and right now you can order them so that you make sure they get delivered on the 14th go to bakedbymelissa.com and send love you can't go wrong with cupcake gifts on valentine's day jackie and her friends do it it's good enough for them it's good enough for you go to bakedbymelissa.com oh yeah the period from the butts yeah yeah i'm learning <laughs> a lot more about women than i wanted to am i today. the asshole this is something that I think, John, you could be this person in this. <laughs> Am I the asshole for laughing hysterically after a date kept insisting to me that women have periods from their butts? <laughs> There's this guy, 22. I'm 20, female. 22. Gone on, a, now. gone on a few dates in the past couple months. He's nice, and so far we only progressed to going on public dates, but about a week ago we finally decided to have a nice date at my place. Since it was going to be at my place, I let him know before that I was on my period because I wasn't sure yet of expectations he had or what boundaries we were at. That's a weird thing to do. I don't think that's a bad idea. I, oh, I guess you're 22. 22 is fine. Yeah. If I'm 33. I'm fucking you, you mean? Give a fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> 22, yeah. I was in that. Like, like <laughs> if I, a, girl, a girl tells me now, like, hey, you coming over tonight, I'm on my period, I say, I'll bring the towels. Yeah. <laughs> like, Thanks for letting me know. I'll be clean up, crew. <laughs> <laughs> or it's like, so we're doing hate all tonight. You're 34, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> 22, I was definitely, like, teetering on the edge of, like, being icky, gross. And, I'll and be honest. I, 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 I'm talking tough because I don't prefer to go in there when it's. Like, oh, I don't like, prefer like, to do it, but I'll, I'll do early do or late in in the in the game. I, I don't want to be in there at halftime. That's, <laughs> that's a lot. That's a lot. There is. But you know what is crazy, and everybody's gone through this when the lights are out and you're like, damn, it's <laughs> wet. Like I'm killing it, and then it's like, ah, Dexter. <laughs> it's there, bad. There've definitely been times where I was like. Jesus yeah. Christ! I was you still standing? <laughs> yeah. but, but you're looking a little pale. What happened? <laughs> Those are. I'm not prefer that. I'm not going out. Yo, you I'm know, not, I'm not. I'm not fucking fucking coming to the ring with a razor blade in my mouth. <laughs> Have you ever gone down on a chick? No, fuck yeah, no. That, that I um, like, or, I, I think you're sick if you do it willingly. It, it, but I, you n never had like even an accident. I don't ever. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, I mean like. What they call, you like, you'd be you in a your... mental hospital and be like, I'll fucking drink your blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think there are people. I think there are people. Yeah, just... You know, there's a lid for every pot, but um <laughs> um, uh, um <laughs> I, I, uh, <laughs> I you know, we were talking last week or whatever about I like do you believe in God, ghosts, and we were talking about, you know, is there, I said you don't have any interest in if there's like a greater creator or whatever, you know. But like there's gotta be somebody just like the whoever decided that we're gonna like this is the, the system. There's gonna be a fucking hole that you're gonna bleed out of, and you gotta come inside that thing to fucking make it grow out. I mean, that's nuts. That girls are just shedding their pussy skin every fucking <laughs> every every minute. It's like you know, it's it's two weeks before, two weeks after. They're basically always on their period. It's a fucking fiasco. <laughs> It's like what? Who came it, up with that? It doesn't. Science make a lot is of crazy. Sense. And and I'll tell you what. And I'll tell you what's even crazier when it comes out of their butts. It, well, I think. <laughs> oh, I think it's making more sense. So she says, all hey, the stuff you don't want to fuck comes out of the butt. All the stuff you don't want to fuck. Yeah, keep all the bad stuff in the butt. Keep the poop and the blood in the butt. Yeah, keep the poop and the blood in the butt. I'll tell you what I don't want. The poop, when the, I'm blood having sex. poop and the blood in the babies. Poop, 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 blood, babies should be butts. <laughs> you should shit out the baby, the blood, and the kids. Yeah, it yeah, makes yeah. the most sense. It does, and then keep the pussy for fucking. P keep the pussy clean. Keep the pussy that's, pristine. That's the fuck hole. That's the fuck hole. Garbage the, hole. It, it really, hole. it really should be all entry and exit. Right. 
So everything that needs to get out, the blood, the poop, and the baby, <laughs> comes from... It could be either hole. I just want to keep one... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be the butt or the pussy, but just keep them one lane only. One, you know what I mean? If yeah, you want the babies yeah. to come out then all of the pussy, then also the poop and the blood. It's like... But it's if, like, then uh, I'm fucking you in the ass. But if you want it to come out of the butt, then I'm fucking you in the pussy. So root one and uh, with Gillette. Okay. Right? What they do is, like, when you... Because it's only uh, two lanes each side, uh -huh. that, like, they, they shut down a side... Pre and post games, so it. all cars come for right, lanes. Right, right, right. That's what they should do with one. When they should shut day? down a lane. Right. When it's like, you when know it's what? Like, what sex time? Like when? Yeah. Or no, always, no, just, just at all times. Yeah, we should shut be, down a lane. Yeah. From now on, there should be one lane goes one way, or maybe one lane goes the other. Or way. what if you have some sort of like railroad device where you switch the tracks? You know what I mean? When they, oh they pull yeah. A lever and it's like ching, 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 and now yeah, you're gonna like, go this way. If it goes this way, it kills three people. But if it kills this way, we're going over the fucking ravine or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Like, yeah, we got to make the constitution have the abortion. Like, <laughs> like what is that called? Your, your, your dicks. What? What is that called? What? It's like a psychological, like uh, the constitution to have an abortion. No, 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 no. The three lane versus one lane thing. Oh, I didn't know that was like a, a, a the tree. Yeah, the train tracks like. Railroad. I'm gonna look this up. I don't. Basically, know. it's the train's going straight on the track, right? Okay. And you have you're at the lever. Uh huh. You can pull the lever and uh -huh. it goes one way. And there's only one person on the track there. Right. And but there's construction crew of three people on the other track. Okay. Do you let it go and not touch fate and kill three people, or do you opt to kill? What's what's the more ethical decision? You kill the one person. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then you've but you've killed that one person. Someone's gonna die anyway. This, but this or, is, or is there a chance nobody dies? No, no, if three someone's gonna, gonna die. But you didn't make that decision. That's what. Oh gonna no, happen. I'll own that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't give a shit. Tell those three I people am, like I, I saved your lives, motherfuckers. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm I'm owning the good spin zone, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I worked on the internet. All right, I know how to spin <laughs> this shit. I didn't murder anybody. I saved three lives. Yeah. That's Two the lives. fucking story. Two lives. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, no. Yeah, I saved three, but I saved those three. You saved those three lives. It nets out to two, but two. I saved yeah. those three. Right. Um, also, like, I could just eat guilt like a motherfucker now. So it's just like, yeah, I killed you, whatever. <laughs> tell your fucking, tell your kids that it was going to be three people. Fuck you. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the poop and the pee and the blood. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, we got more questions to go. Um, so he comes and we eat and then sit down on the couch to pick a movie when he says that it sucked that I was on my period. <laughs> then he said, <laughs> which is like. So, like such a 22 like yeah. dude sucks your pussy's bleeding huh? <laughs> otherwise we could fuck <laughs> yeah. the, the, my cock's got no hole to go into now you're too cramped up so you there. gonna suck my dick with your mouth your mouth's not bleeding is it <laughs> um, so he says it sucked that I was on my period then he said <laughs> that we thought douchebag 22s are all, all Italians yeah, they are. <laughs> this is funny, by the way, because this is exactly what we just did. Then he said he thought it's so strange that women give birth through the vagina but have periods from their butts. <laughs> this was a completely unprompted statement from him, and I'm still not sure we, how we got on the topic. I asked him what he meant by that, and he said exactly what he had said before. I kind of smiled, assuming he was very much just joking, and I said, oh, yeah, so weird, thinking that he was just going to start laughing soon and end the joke. He didn't and instead started to talk about the first and only girlfriend he had had in high school and how she used to complain about her bad period poops all the time. Okay. So that's where this guy got mixed up. At this point, I ask him if he's being serious, and he looks a little confused and says he is. I hate where this is going because I, I'm, I'm trying to uh, – I'm going to start the crusade that mansplaining is not a thing. Okay. So when people do mansplain, I get very mad. Because he's about to mansplain like a motherfucker. <laughs> I asked him how to explain how he came to that conclusion, and he explained that his first experience being around periods was his high school girlfriend, that he had never received or seen much information. He understood it was something that happened inside the body, body, and that blood came out of somewhere, but assumed it came out of the vagina until he heard her complaining and realized it actually came out of the butt. I was very, It was very unexpected from a 22-year-old man. Like, I hate that, by the way. Like, 22-year-old boy. Um, I somehow managed to keep my unless composure. Unless you killed somebody, then you're a man. Then you're a man. I, I somehow, unless you got to fucking throw a train track thing. And then, uh, I somehow managed to keep my composure when I told him that periods do, in fact, come out of the vagina and not butts. He looked confused and then a little frustrated and started insisting to me that I was wrong and kept saying, are you sure? As if I was confused about where it came out of my own body. I explained to him the anatomy a bit and how it worked, but he was very adamant. Eventually, he conceded that most women have periods like that, but some, hence his ex-girlfriend, have periods from their butts. He just could not understand, no matter how many times I tried to explain it to him, that he just simply... 
came to the wrong conclusion and misinterpreted his girlfriend's words. The whole situation became so much that I started to laugh. I was doubled over, clutching my stomach, crying, laughing over this whole debacle, and he sat there red-faced, continuing to try to argue with me. Eventually, he said he was ready to leave and did before we could watch a movie. I felt bad after laughing because he left. I could tell that he had been... I, t I can tell that he had been when he was decided to leave. Da, da, da. He texted me later that night saying that he had done a little research on his own and that he was no longer interested in pursuing any sort of relationship because he couldn't stand to be with someone who laughed at someone for not understanding. Am I the asshole? Well, obviously not. Um, I mean, she might be. Why? No, she's not. But, <laughs> but, but, but like... Uh, in the spirit of not being mean and not taking things too far, I don't know when someone's just like like I, when when someone's dead wrong, I like rarely ever like t like like for instance, if you're interviewing somebody and they want to talk about Pat uh, Bob Saget and they keep saying Pat Sajak, <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna just jump on them and be like, don't you mean Bob Saget? Because I know what he means and most of the audience will probably know what he means and I'm just gonna let it slide. When people are really... I did not know what he meant. Yeah. I, 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 I put it together, but I was like, I didn't even know Pat Sajak died. Yeah, you guys will hear this in a little bit. Yeah, but, this but is it, coming up with Darn Darn it's, it's a future, future podcast. <laughs> but um, but like when someone is really dumb, uh, that's not even that's not an example of being dumb. That's just a mix-up. When someone's like being really stupid, I don't like pile on. I'll, I'll well, actually, when, they're fight, when they're coming back at me, I won't. And then it's yeah, like, yeah, well, you're yeah, wrong. Yeah, at least right. some people have modded their That's And that's why he's but, not the <laughs> asshole. But I'm just saying... I will laugh in someone's face if I, – I don't want to embarrass people when they are, like, very dumb. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, so, maybe she took it a little far. But when you're going to mansplain and be an asshole and be like, no, 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 let me tell you about your pussy and your butt, it's like, yeah, you're an asshole. In the spirit of that, we're going to keep doing things in the spirit of things. Yeah. We're going to ask some questions here? I feel like I've heard the term before, but I don't know for sure. Why don't you walk me through what a period poop is? I think it's just it, – it's like they shit weird when they have periods. You know, it's they like they're – Guy shits. Every, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Yeah, yeah. He's going <laughs> I, You know, I just think it's I'm all, intentionally it's all not right. turning around. If, if anyone else in the room wants to chime in, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Yeah, I always have to look at Jackie during these moments. It sucks. <laughs> So it's just it's just girls take big shits when they're menstruating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, period poops. Why do they happen? From the Cleveland <laughs> Clinic Health Essentials. Okay. Um, constipation, bloating, diarrhea. You know? All right, so they save yeah. it up. Fuck. Yeah, they build it up. You know, girl, girls don't shit for like a whole month, and then they, they fucking shit during their period. <laughs> they hold it in because they can't fart or poop without being judged, and then during their time where their hole's bleeding, their body's like, it's all coming out because you've been fucking keeping it in here, and you've been taking pills to stop you from getting pregnant. Guys have been coming in here, and we're pushing everything out of both holes. <laughs> The, hu the the female body is just a catastrophe, <laughs> <laughs> and yet it's the thing that has the most power in the world. You know? <laughs> we covet this thing that is just a fucking it's nightmare, just a fucking <laughs> and they are willing, mess. yeah, it's a big like that. Uh, we always talk about their underwear. It's like this fucking thing that's just this machine that is just spitting out waste, and, 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 and it just makes no sense. And we're like, please get naked, please get naked, and put that all over my mouth and my dick and my hands. It's like, what is happening here? <laughs> the power of the pussy is a fiasco. <laughs> we gave all the power to this. This takes us back to last week's episode. Or yes, like, stop fucking us. Stop fucking <laughs> us. For real. So you take your fucking your nuclear wasteland and scram. <laughs> <laughs> like, like they should have to put it in a fucking fifty-five your, gallon drum your body, with that biohazard yeah. sticker on it. Your body is a wonderland from Chernobyl. <laughs> Your body's a wonderland that nobody's visited in 35 years because there's there's a, there's a hundred Rontgen re measuring on the fucking gun. Your body is a it's wonderland. A, it's a wasteland that has literally thousands of years before it's safe to come around again. <laughs> oh man, scientists can't figure it out. It is deeply haunting. <laughs> 
that. I just want to all the female listeners. I'm sorry, I'm not defending anything. I'm just gonna stay quiet on this. There's just not much but to I defend. Just, yeah, your body is a wonderland I'm of done, murdered I'm dogs. Done. <laughs> Rotten. <laughs> Cut down trees and salted land. <laughs> Scorched earth that can grow no life. It's an inhospitable terrain. It's like it's like it's like the fucking surface of Saturn. It's like Jupiter. It's nine hundred degrees in there and nothing can survive. <laughs> your, your body is the asteroid from fucking from uh, Armageddon. It's, it's three hundred degrees in the sunlight, negative two hundred. Dark. So scariest environment imaginable. That's all you had to say. Scariest environment imaginable. And we're trying to drill it. And we're, we're trying to drill it. Oh my god. Okay. Am I the asshole for emasculating my husband and refusing to make my parents apologize for it? Uh, 28 year old female, 29 year old male. We've been married for five years. My husband was a nurse until he told me that he wanted to become a doctor. I was fully supportive, and he is now in his first year of medical school. I've been supporting us both as he cannot work while in school, but recently found out that our rent was being raised $500 at the end of our contract. This was honestly the last straw as it pushed us past where we were financially comfortable, so I raised the idea of buying a home. This has been in the conversation for years, but my husband had always said we would, uh, he would, uh, my, my, my husband always said he could. He could. We could after he had paid off his school debt from nursing, paid off in early 2020. I asked my mother, real estate agent, who told me that uh, with what we'd be paying, it would be better for the money to go towards mortgage repayments and not rent. I brought this all up to my husband, who shut it down almost immediately. He told uh, he told me our agreement was to wait until he had paid off all his debt. I told him that was for nursing and that he was in school for six years, which was hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt, and some doctors don't pay off their debt for 20-plus years. I told him that I had been supportive of the career change and by financially supporting the household, but that this was the best financial decision for us, but it's also relieved the financial burden, burden for me. I brought up the savings we had for our deposit and how we could afford something small and modest within the budget, but he told me that it was in our interest to use blah, 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 blah. My mother called and asked if we were going to look into buying a house. Uh, but I told her we weren't and that we'd be looking for somewhere cheaper to rent instead. She said uh, she insisted we at least consider it. Uh, days later, my mother and father came to lunch and told us they had news. They offered us the gift of the down payment on a home. I was over the moon and shocked by the offer. Once they left, my husband exploded on me, claiming I emasculated him and made him look... Girls suck at stories. They could have, she could have just said, we could have cut out that whole fucking thing about the doctor and just been like, my parents offered me a down payment and my husband felt emasculated. But that's where we're at. Uh, my husband exploded on me, claiming I emasculated him and made me look bad in front of my parents. I told him I never asked for this, but we should take it as it was a privilege most people don't get and we would relieve so much financial burden on me. He refuses to talk to me or my parents until we apologize for shaming, emasculating him, but I refuse to. I apologized, but told him I wouldn't make my parents as they had done nothing wrong. Dude, I don't, I guess I just don't get being masculine. I would take that money so <laughs> fucking fast. Like, like, oh I my god! And I will take free money forever and ever. Bro, like I, 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 I have a, a job now, and I, I could take care of myself. And if someone was like, "I'll buy you a house," I'm like, "Fucking sick! I'll take a house." Yeah, no, no like, doubt. And, and like, also, you can pay people back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, right. you're, you're studying to be a doctor. Uh, I'm sure they, these parents are like, you know okay with you taking some time to pay it back if they're giving you this money I like just the the pride like these people who have pride in themselves but I just like I I, I feel like we're mo we we're more rare than we think we are like, like, I, I do get yeah. it. I understand it to an extent sure I do I'm, I'm not completely ignorant no, the like there, there are definitely like, people I but I'm not like a this is my lady I take care of my lady no I uh, definitely not I no. He, I have pride in the sense there are certain people I would never take money from I would never want to be beholding to certain people. My, I don't know about that. Yeah, I, I, mean, I, listen, I guess if, if you're down bad, you take money from whoever. Right. If, if this is like a luxury, uh, or like you are, you know, you're like, no, I can work it out myself. I, yeah, I would never want to be indebted to certain people. But as a parent, like, if I want to give my daughter a present. I'm fucking giving my daughter a present. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to... Like, I don't give a fuck. Well, fine, you, you can keep paying rent in the apartment. Absolutely. My daughter's, my daughter's going to get the house. Yes. Yeah. Like, you know, in-law in law relationships are weird, but you and your manhood, your toxic masculinity, pride, are not going to stop me. I've been busting my ass for fucking 30 years to be able to make money to give my kids presents and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm doing it. And she's taking it. 
And I don't give like and you can yeah, stay there or not stay there. Fuck you. You know? So like certain people I don't even think you're in a position to turn them down. I think you should have to accept that and be gracious and pay them back or whatever you decide. But like to say no to that is like fuck you, pal. To, to fucking demand demand an apology. Yeah, like, I'm not I mean you, you can't demand an apology. And unless uh, you know, I sometimes these things are also ethnic. Like I don't know. Sometimes there are certain cultures where yeah, yeah. this can get weird. And if there was, if you sat down to lunch and the father was like, "Well, since you know, if it's meet the parents type shit, well, since Fokker, the nurse over here can't pay for a house, I'll swoop in and save you again." Then it's like, "Fuck you." Yeah. But if these are just like nice parents who are like, you know, we know times are tough, and we really like we commend you for chasing your dream for being a doctor. Let's help out. Get over yourself. Yeah, like you're gonna be. It's not you're a fucking deadbeat. You're gonna be a doctor. Be a doctor. You'll be all right. Yeah, and pay him back. If 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 I was. Money yeah. is weird, man. People are like, you know, like people are for, uh, just like so ashamed to ask for money or ask for help or whatever. It's it's a weird thing. Yeah, I mean, but like, you're gonna be a doctor. Yeah, you're gonna be a doctor. You're I do find it weird where like uh, we we were talking about like if you were a billionaire, would you hook your friends up? And it's like. If I get like big money, I would feel like obligated to hook people up. I, I wouldn't feel like an asshole if I don't. I it, it would be, I would do it more subtly. Yes. Than like yes, I I do it fucking Clooney style. Yes. Clooney's Clooney's du- like make it cool it. duffel bag yeah, like, like whatever. Cool, just have some drinks. Yeah. Well, when you guys leave, there's a security team to drive you home. It's because you're all taking million whatever dollars, million yeah, he gave yeah. with him. I think Was you know what would be cool. I don't know if it was a million. I think it was several hundred thousand. Maybe a million. I think it was. I, I was going to say over a million. Because it was after Casamigos, right? It was after Casamigos, right? Yeah, so it probably was a million. Plus. Yeah, like, let's have fun. You guys have a fucking... 14 million friends. Uh, 14 friends got $1 million cash each. Yeah. That's, um, like, I that's, when that's just that, the way you do it. I wonder when he told that story if the IRS was like... Nah, <laughs> you can't just, like, give out $14 million. <laughs> you can, right? You just have to pay the taxes on it. But I think they have to pay the taxes on it, though. Yeah, friends, but can't you know he, mean? like, then give them money again? Yeah. Like it's almost like when Oprah gave away cars, and people yeah. are like, "Well, we can't afford the taxes on this," so then Oprah like paid the taxes. Yeah, but then you know, then it's like, like eventually the IRS has to stop catching you giving gifts out. Yeah, yeah. Because you got to pay taxes <laughs> on the gift for the taxes. You know what I mean? That's true. <laughs> uh, I would. What I would do. I would come up with Squid Games, obviously not to the death, but I would make my friends compete and have a winner, and then at the end be like, "You all get it," <laughs> but have some fun with oh, it. Oh no. Because you would ruin some friendships You'd and shit. You'd ruin yeah, some yeah, friendships yeah, along the way. Yeah. But be like, you gave but, me a fucking bag of rocks when I thought it was the marbles? I thought you were being nice to yeah, me, dude. Yeah, kind of cool, though. <laughs> kind of cool. You find out which, which your friends are really the cool guys and which are pretty much bloodthirsty motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, I would do something fun like that. That's did like, you see Mr. Beast did Squid Games like if this was a few months ago? And I did, it was yeah. for like, uh, you know, for like hundred, like 400, whatever. I don't know. So I think it was for like $40 million by that guy. Did no, I real. think it was like 400 grand. Yeah, 456 because yeah, that yeah. was the, the total number of people. Um, but he just kind of re- recreated like the actual stuff in real life. So it was still like just exploding blood packets and shit. Like I thought it was going to be a little 25 more. minutes, the whole video? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They, they, they did like really like jump cut. They yeah, they, a they, lot they, of Because really when you think about it, like a lot of it's just like we don't need to watch people play. Uh, That's true. We don't need, we don't care about their the emotional investment into yeah, this. I and mean, we don't need to watch uh, tug of rush, war. You know? you know, I'm surprised it got this big. I guess he's my monster. But oh, I'm not surprised. That's he's that like, was the hottest game in the world. Yeah. That that well, was came a out, like, great much idea. Later. Much much later. It came out fairly recently, right? November November 24th. Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess it was a little like that. Though. That that's a that's the kind of shit I would do if I was rich. Like I wouldn't do this barstool shit with all these fucking girls who are causing problems. <laughs> I would, I would, I would make everyone my puppet and be like, turn you all into fucking reality TV show freaks. <laughs> yeah, like, like that new show, Too Hot to Handle. That's the one where you can't fuck or you lose the money. Okay. Like I would just come up with things like that, you know? Like, let's get them in a room. Let's get them in a house together. Why don't you do that? Yeah. We do it. We should. Let's get okay. some fucking money and, and make make some prizes and. Re- I bet if we come up with a good enough one, we can do one. Yeah. Yeah, because they're not that complicated. I, I like, don't think I'm good at coming up with these. I think that as long as you just come up with, like, you know, get sexy people in a room and there's just like a, ooh, that's hard to do. That's hard to control yourself. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. It'll work. It'll work. You can't talk for fucking Eat a Eat gross food and not puke. Yeah, it's like, it's like <laughs> we'll just do lower in the bar, but it's like you get hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, all right, voicemails. Voicemails today are brought to you by Simply Safe. Our boys are back. Our friends at Simply Safe have a new holiday deal uh, with 20% off their award-winning home security. So you're going to have to pay to keep your loved ones and your belongings safe. You might as well do it now when you can get 20% off. 
they make everything in your home safe, both indoor and outdoor. They have cameras for the whole property, both inside your home and outside in the front and backyard. Comprehensive sensors, all around, all monitored, around the clock, uh, by trained professionals, 24-7. We're talking uh, police, we're talking fire, we're talking poison control, uh, the earthquake department, the monsoon department, the typhoon department, the... Uh, yeah. the uh, those are fun places to work. Yeah, I mean, Thought about those. Me, the typhoon department. That's, that's I was going to be think. a typhoon doctor. Once I, once I leave here and go back to my old life, which I don't have to rediscover, um, probably typhoon department. Yeah, something, typhoon department was something I'm interested in. Thing. Yeah, that was before the internet was mean to me. <laughs> uh, no long-term tra- contracts or commitments. You started off, uh, start the new year off right with a peace of mind of knowing that everybody's safe. And sound without breaking the bank. Twenty percent off your Simply Safe security system and your first month free when you sign up for the interactive monitoring system by going to Simply Safe S I M P L I Safe dot com slash KFC Radio. I can give you the the co uh, the, the the discount twenty percent off. I can tell you about how they're the number one security system. I can tell you how there's no long contract. All that shit's good. This is one of those things. It's like almost paying your taxes. Like you have to do it. If you own a home, you have to have a security system because you can't be the asshole when the cops show up and they go, you didn't have a security system? Yeah, and you're yeah. like, fuck, <laughs> I, lost, I lost my baby and all my things because I didn't have a home security <laughs> system. So it's it's almost like stop right now if you own a home and you have to get a home security system. You might as well do the one that we're recommending. We win, they win, you win, everybody's happy. If I had a home, I would stop everything I'm doing right now, make sure that I got Simply Safe. I'm living in an apartment now. The minute that I get a house again, I would line it up and equip it with Simply Safe. Stephen Che uses it. The Barstool people with homes use it. You should too. SimplySafe.com slash KFC Radio. Voicemails, let's go. Okay. Hey, KFC, Feidelberg, the whole crew. I um, am coming at you because I had a top five. I don't do Twitter or even Instagram anymore, honestly. But um, Road Trip was on the other day, and I was like, I haven't watched this movie in so long, but I used to have it on DVD, and we would play it like over and over and over, or VHS, I can't remember. And I was just thinking of how many movies like we actually used to always own, and they would just always be on. So like, what's your top five DVDs or VHSs that you had that were always on? Like, I remember the other one was Stuck on You. I think we rented it, never took it back, and it just that played movie. like every that's day. That's that in trouble. Yeah. Always. <laughs> uh, that's a great question because uh, I feel like everybody had. I don't know about top five, but I feel like everybody had like a one. Like when I was in college, my my roommate put Boiler Room on every oh. single night and would fall asleep to it within five minutes really like, i think it took him like the entire senior year of college to watch boiler room boiler room's an interesting one yeah he he like loved it but always passed out immediately and i was like oh my god we're still watching this fucking movie um, uh the Chappelle show dvds was a big one for she's me. saying in college specifically no oh okay back, that for me that was back when dvds were you know oh okay oh i'm thinking i'm thinking princess bride was a big one DVD? Uh, no, no, v- it was VHS. VHS. Yeah, VHS time. is a whole different story for me. VHS is going to be like childhood stuff for me. All like uh, Sword in the Stone and Robin Hood from Disney. Uh, um, uh, d- DVD would be Chappelle Show DVD yep. and um, Girls Gone Wild, Laguna Beach, Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach I feel like DVDs. I think of more of TV shows. Yeah, uh, I remember a uh, girl I was dating had the, the new- Patriot was a big one. Newlyweds was on DVD. Newlyweds. That's just oh Jesse Simpson. Simpson. That's yeah, yeah, great TV. <laughs> Just a dumb hot girl and a husband making fun of her. The that was like KSC Radio before, before KSC Radio. Um, uh, but Boiler Room was a big a big movie one for sure. And Girls Gone Wild, the Girls Gone Wild DVD was awesome. Never saw Eddie Girls Gone, Girls Gone Wild. Oh, it's great. I mean, I'm sure I saw the commercials one obviously, time, but I never had a friend who had it. I, I went to a bar where, the, where Girls Gone Wild was at once. Thirsty Turtle in in White Plains show up. The Girls Gone Wild bus is out there. What what were they giving people? What were they giving chicks? I don't know, because I was I was, was kind of really like, for T-shirts. Uh, probably not. I don't know. I think it was very rapey. I went to the bathroom and J- Ron Jeremy was in the bathroom. I peed next to Ron Jeremy. Whoa, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I I couldn't. I tried. Like it was he was because he's you know he got the belly. Yeah. Thing. But I mean I, I can tell you what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, they can pull but it out. You like to see some? Maybe he photoshopped it. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> I want to see someone in person. Cause I saw it on the internet. Um, the uh, the I never got his appeal. I, I actually could tell you what his looked like. Was he always it's looking a big like curve. that? Yeah, he always had like the, the gross facial hair and the big fat belly. He was always fat. Yeah. He was never like he never. I mean, himself. maybe like way back in like the seventies, but by the time I was like coming of age and watching him, he was gross. 
also raped everybody. Everybody. So. He got like 80 counts, super right? Yeah, super rape. Yeah. Super rape. Yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. We, we should have like saw that one coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we probably should have locked him up way <laughs> Um But yeah, let us know. Tweet at us. What was your go-to DVD I in your collection? It was definitely, we had that one summer where we did, it was just Chappelle's show in Laguna Beach. But for some reason, I still don't know Laguna Beach that well. Um, Real quickly, do want to give a shout out to Chief, who has never been more on the right side of an argument than Unwritten. Oh, yeah, what was it? The... Uh, it, was, it was like party songs, like songs to get the party going. Yeah. He said Unwritten, and he got like crucified by the fucking inbreds in Chicago, the heathens who <laughs> apparently never fucking listen to music or go to a party ever in their life. And now you see Unwritten is like people put put it over memes and fucking oh, unwritten songs. Unwritten banged. Yeah. And I, I, I got I, – I got I was late to the party on that like had I saw that when they were arguing it I would have been all about it I would have been like no this is like a good fucking pick but I was late to the party it's just got perfect build up yes <laughs> By the end, you sound like a dog. <laughs> right? Yeah, the buildup is fucking. The build, it's tremendous. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I think he caught heat for that, and I know the Barada gang is out there celebrating that. But yeah, he was big time right on that one. Um, the uh, fuck, what was I just gonna say there too? <laughs> we got we got detra- we yeah. got derailed there a little bit. Um, Sidetracked for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I had something. Yeah. But, uh, kind of Let's go to the fucking. Uh, Nick Offerman here. <laughs> All right. KFC fights. Uh, a little drunk right now. Us, so don't mind that. Also, uh, don't mind the sauna. It is not a uh, growing fucking tent. Anyways, um, so I'm kind of a big believer in the fake it till you make it mantra. Uh, and I might have taken it just a little too far. So uh, over the years, I've worked the company that I work at now for about four years. Uh... Started out as a laborer, kind of worked my way a up to the supervisor, and right now I'm the assistant to the department head. Um, I kind of faked my way all the way up. I legitimately really don't know what I'm doing <laughs> at all. Uh, couldn't even really give you a brief description of my job. And um, this week I was sitting in my uh, department head's office, <laughs> and he dropped the bomb on me that he will be leaving on February 1st. And I was like... All right, that kind of sucks. I like working with him, so whatever. Uh, hope the guy that replaces him isn't a dickhead or anything like that. So, and then he drops another bomb on me that he went to his boss and recommended that I take over for him uh, because it would save the company money by not hiring somebody that's qualified or something like that because I legitimately have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. So, uh... Yeah, I guess my question is, have you guys ever just kind of backed yourself into a corner or, like, faked your way into a situation where you were just absolutely fucked from Jump Street? Yeah, Let me know. Yeah, uh, looking yeah. at it. Bro, look at this studio we have. Yeah, like, <laughs> every damn do day, dude. <laughs> we are, yo, I, I actually had this conversation with my brother recently. Uh, we were just talking about the industry and and fans and and react like mental health all this shit you know and i was kind of saying how um you know a lot of the people we probably get compared to podcast wise are like great comics you know like really funny fucking yeah. people and i was kind of like uh how are we supposed to compete with that you know and he was like and long story short he basically was saying like you know, a guy like Chris DeStefano, they would bring it up. I was like, he's just so fucking funny, you know? And he's, like, honed his craft over the years and all that. And da, da, da. And my brother was like, yeah, you did none of that. <laughs> and you have a podcast that's right there on the same level as his. And I was like, shit, we kind of just skipped all the hard work part. <laughs> and, like, there's, you know, there's a ceiling for us, of course, that we can't do. But we kind of have been totally faking it until we make it yeah. this whole fucking time. Uh, we didn't do any of the work. When we hear about all these comics and shit, we're like, we ate shit for 35 years, and now we finally have some some success with the podcast and, and selling tickets, and we just were like, oh, well, we just were, like, talking about stuff for a few years before that started <laughs> We did happening. a podcast no one listened to. Yeah, we did, we did that for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, I mean, we ate, we ate was, shit we for a little to, bit. We didn't but. have to watch 
We also we had like a, a regular job. Yeah, and we then that right. was the other thing we did, where it was like we podcasted, but no one listened to it. Right, we were and, just like growing that on the side. But yeah. it is funny that it's just like, yeah, uh, we didn't have to do any of that, and now we're in the same <laughs> sentence as some of these people, and they're way more talented <laughs> than we are. <laughs> but this guy, we, I fucking love this guy. I think I think we should blur his face out. Uh, <laughs> I think we should have him on. I think we should hire him because I think he. First of all, bro, let's talk about this guy. Let's talk about this description. He he began. Saying he was a laborer. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Are we, we a laborer? Like, that is the most broad description I've ever heard in my life. Laborer is just like a fucking guy. It's like yeah, a if you're working for like the Chinese Republic, I'm a laborer. No, oh, I was, I've been a laborer before. Just and what'd like, you do? Like, I was like the guy who like went and like picked up tools and shit. Like, <laughs> That's what I mean. This is fucking like not, not a laborer can be construction. It can like, be go, fucking go, go digging grab. ditches. I, it can it be did, like, can the, be a miner. You can be you're just, you're just doing manual labor somewhere. But I don't yeah, know what the fuck yeah. you're doing. Um, and then and then to to the blazer is quite a look. The blazer, blazer over, over the hoodie is amazing. That's a big time. I think like, that's one of those mid two thousand. I think that's one of those like zip up saunas that he was talking about, right? Yeah, it is. He says Wait, it's not. He's like, he's like, don't worry, I'm not growing weed. In so there. you just like, go inside of it and you sweat like 120 degrees. It's like I fucking guess. psycho. Um, <laughs> I here's what I think I would do. I think we're so brainwashed from the employer employee relationship that we especially when we're faking it put this like I don't know what I'm doing I'm nervous I'm going to mess up and it's like and then what's going to happen someone's going to be mad at you someone's going to yell at you worst case scenario is you get fired from a job and you don't even know how the fuck to do it <laughs> and that's where you have to you you think that you've taken fake it till you make it too far you've just be yeah. Now's where you got to kick it into high gear and be like, yeah, I'll take that fucking job. Because guess what? That guy leaving, he doesn't know how to fucking do the job either. And the guy who he's above is above him, replacing who has to who has to hire this person, he doesn't even know what this job entails. So when he hears that he can just hire this guy and save some money, he's gonna go. That sounds good because the guy above me doesn't know what the fuck's going on. But as long as I tell him that I'm saving money, I'm good to go. So as long as you tell me that I'm, you know, you you can handle it, and then just fucking make some shit up. And who cares? Nobody cares. Cares. Wait, how come you guys are so supportive of this guy for oh, me? Well, supportive when I do. We're very you supportive fuck of you. Fuck up! <laughs> you, we, this, you, this guy is brilliant. He snakes it. Nobody knows that he's. He no, doesn't even know I, what I, doing. The situation I, that Kevin's describing just happened to you. Where it's like you fucked up, you got yelled at a little bit, and you yeah. didn't get yelled at at all. Yeah, nothing, nothing we, even happened. Let's just do, let's like, do also, <laughs> fake it. This is where people. I've done this to me my whole life when I started mail time. They were like, totally mail time, bro. Yesterday, I just blew off work and I got fucking fired, man. It was awesome. Like, that's not the message. The point is to do this and nobody knows. Everybody thinks that you're competent, but you're not. So, like, when your microphone's not on, you got caught. It would be more like if you turned the microphone off and found a way to get around it. That would have been fake until you make it. Instead of just getting... <laughs> yeah. Instead of just getting... Clipped by a buzzsaw the next day. The the if you ever thought like you faked it till you made it too made it too far, remember that's the time to double down. Our last president, yeah, yes. had never done anything political ever, ever. Never. and he just got and up there. Every single and whether, day, whether you were a fan of him or not, you have yeah, to admit uh, he faked it till he made it. And every single day, he had a catastrophic <laughs> event that was a career ruiner, life ruiner. Like rape charges and shit that just never it just disappeared. Like, he he was I was pretty that didn't happen. I, I'm telling you, okay. I, I still I well, still think I guess we can't do anything about that. It's it's like when Dukes was like, I'm the dumbest person ever, and Dave was like, All right, well <laughs> go home for a little bit and see you see you later, you know? Like you I, D Donald Trump will go down as the most inspirational president of all time <laughs> for all the wrong reasons because he just taught me and he should have taught you that as long as you just say it with confidence Everyone else will just fall in line. Because yeah, I right. guarantee this fucking laborer job isn't fucking anything. If you were a laborer, now you have a sauna in your house and you're wearing a blazer. Blazer. Keep it going. That guy shows up in a blazer over a hoodie and everyone goes, well, the boss is here. Yeah. Well, oh, man. And he walks in and says, hey, guys, we got to uh, we gotta uh, get more efficient with the uh, with the hours so that the budget cuts hat. Make it. <laughs> and they go... All right, all right, boss. You know, I mean, nobody cares. Nobody knows. There's like five. There's like probably like five people in every company that matter, and the rest really don't. You know, like yeah, eventually you're gonna get to like a CEO. The rest is like, just to keep the unemployment down. Yeah, yeah, right, right. I mean, like like Elon Can't have Musk. People in the streets all day. That's crazy town. A guy like Elon Musk, like Jeff Bezos, just like 
kind of like retired from Amazon. Like nothing changed. You know what I mean? Did he? He like stepped down from. That's why I think he's fucking pitbull now. He's like I'm out here and I'm trying to trying to have fun. He like stepped down from whatever his current position was, and he's like kind of you know in a lesser role or whatever. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fucking Steve Jobs died. No, nobody cares. <laughs> Slide in another nerd, you know? It's like this. These as long as there's like you know, there's a couple people that matter, and the rest is just plug and play. <laughs> I like how the two you went with who don't matter were those two. <laughs> yeah, probably probably the two of the most influential of all time. Absolutely. I'm sure there were some changes at the company once they decided to leave. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> he quit his job, and everyone's like, "Yeah, it ended up saving the company." What? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeff Bezos stepped down as CEO to save it from destroying himself. Okay, yeah, what are we this, talking this about? This sounds like it might be in the Washington Post. Yeah, I mean, we're just making things up here. So, uh, All right, last one. What do we got? What's up, KFC Radio gang? Uh, be easy on me. as my first video voicemail. Uh, got a little we bit of a story slash question for you. Uh, I was listening to the episode this week where the guy called in about the vasectomy, which, by the way, he is an absolute fucking lunatic to think that it's easily reversible. Would not fucking do it. Absolutely not. Um, so I recently got a vasectomy. <laughs> um, I went in, did the consultation, went to the back, uh, which actually was pretty quick, kind of weird. Um, they lay you out, you take your pants off, uh, they clean your balls, all that shit, and uh, they get going. Um, right before he made the cut, I asked him, there was a bunch of nurses in the room and the doctor, I asked him, hey, while you're in there, do you think you could add a couple inches? Which I was legitimately asking, thinking anatomically, they already have your balls open, there's got to be something they can fucking stretch out or something. <laughs> and the nurses and doctor laughed me out of the fucking room. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there waiting for a fucking answer. Um, so just wanted to ask, what is a time that you've asked someone a legitimate question and they just completely laughed you out of the fucking room oh, wow. thinking you were joking. That's a great um, question. And by the way, Jackie, if you're looking for a firefighter paramedic with a mild dad bod and a vasectomy. <laughs> hey. Thanks for listening. Let's, let's, uh, let's blur out this guy's name on his fucking chest, by the way. <laughs> um, so you're going to fuck this guy, Jackie? Well, <laughs> can't get pregnant. <laughs> That's a plus. Um, great question. Also, a kind of a great thing to happen if you roll with it. Like, for instance, on uh, on the Kevin Clancy show, I was talking about Neil Young, and I was talking about how uh, I was like, "Who the fuck is Neil Young anyway?" Like, what you swang, you sung uh, "Sweet Caroline," and you think that you're hot shit, it's confusing him with Neil Diamond. But the point was that nobody even knows who Neil Young is, so people were like, ah, "I get it." Like, <laughs> like you didn't even, you, yeah, you know, he, you 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 mixed those two up on purpose. I'm like, yeah, totally, yeah, definitely. Bro. Totally. I, I um, thought it was Bob Dylan. So yeah, so point point stands. <laughs> nobody knows who Neil Young is. But um, but when you can, if you if you're quick enough to just be like, ah, like a stanza, like ah, oh, thank you, good night, yeah, that was <laughs> yeah. a joke about my dick being bigger, but also, but like, yeah, but answer. Fuck, there's, I mean, I mean, I guess you know, period poops, guys. Period, period poop would probably be a good one. Yeah, really embarrassing. My last one happened five minutes ago. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I'm trying to. Think. But also very lucky because if it wasn't five minutes ago, I wouldn't remember it. I'm trying to think if I, I definitely, I as I was reading that, I was thinking about like I've probably embarrassed myself. In front of a girl at some point with something, you know, physical or anatomical or whatever. Um, but I can't really think of it. Um, it's a good question. It's a it's a it's a unique experience. Like it's a, it's like a TV show worthy experience. Like I also like Curb would, Curb would write a, an episode about this. I'm know? shocked that a paramedic was just like, "Can you fucking add inches to my dick?" Yeah. My my fucking vods deference is open anyway. Nice. The like a paramedic should like I I would I would, yeah, like I he, would he should know enough. I would know you can't just cook fucking like put a Lego in there. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a couple inches. Goose yeah. it up a bit. Yeah. I think, yeah. <laughs> just crank it with like a jack. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna call this paramedic back with some medical questions myself. <laughs> I think I'm gonna call a different one. I think I'm gonna yeah, save that for uh, that for a different oh, time. Oh, I, I think one time. Um, can I have a raise? <laughs> <laughs> I think one time I thought if I like if I were to take like medicine and then shit that it would like come right out. And I like didn't realize oh, that it has just to happened. go through your stomach. Well that that happened very recently where you were like, Well like you didn't yeah, think uh cum but, tasted different. And it was like you like I don't think like eating fruit makes your cum taste better and we we're like, Well it makes your piss like, yeah, yeah, I don't. I, I still don't think that. I don't think that matters that much. 
It does. <laughs> <laughs> this is what a lot of come. I, I've I've had I think um, it matters. Some dried mangoes on the Amtrak, and then gotten home. Yeah, and had some sex, and people have been like, "Good come." I feel suck. like that. That's more my my thought on that would have been more like that's that's macro, not micro. Like if you eat really bad for a long time, or eat really good if you're healthy for a, yeah. But yeah. like if I if I eat entomins all the time, if I have a fucking fruit today, I don't think my cum's changing. I think that was might. my point. I think it might. Um, but the other Could thing be. I was gonna say is, uh, yeah, I, I had that that happen on on the uh, the hospital at Christmas type deal where it was. I got medicine shoved up my ass, and they were like, "Don't shit that out." And I was well, like, that makes sense though, so I guess because it's in your ass and it's gonna come out. Yeah. <laughs> but this is it goes into your stomach and not like your colon. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, if yeah. I take two Tylenol right now and then shit. It's in my stomach, not in my ass. It's in there for a while. Yeah. yeah. So I, I remember, but I, you know, I cleared that up. <laughs> not in my ass. But I don't think I ever asked that. I think, you know, the good thing, right like, now. the good thing is now, like, you, you, you know, you Google a lot of shit real quick, you know? <laughs> you, there's, there, the world, the world is lacking a lot of shame these days because it used to have to be like, you asked a question or you said something stupid in front of people and they shamed you Bro, out of the remember room that? for you to one learn. Of the, one of the greatest lies teachers ever told you, and there were a lot of them, but... Like you're not gonna have a thing is a dumb question. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, oh there's there sure is Miss Sperling. Yeah. <laughs> Big time dumb questions. <laughs> when uh, <laughs> when you know when my, when my sister asked me what animal do potatoes come from, <laughs> I said you are dumb. <laughs> when uh, Jonathan Ross in sixth grade asked asked if rocks were alive, <laughs> and the whole class was like, oh, oh, oh you are actually retarded, man. <laughs> I mean, there. Yeah, you can ask some dumb ass questions, but that's what I mean. We don't have that shame anymore because people will go. Rocks alive? Yeah. Let me just Google that real quick, you know? Next, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Google, Google is making us weak. Yeah. I was letting weak. that one go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Interview time. Donnell Rawlings. One of my favorite interviews we've done in a long time. Awesome interview. Insightful, emotional, funny, uh, you know, unique, different, all of it. Uh, great interview. It's brought to you by Masterworks. So, shockingly, especially if you've been watching Davy Day Trader, uh, there's people who work under the assumption that stocks go up. Mm. Uh, it's not just stocks that go up over time. Art can go up over time too. Art can appreciate. And as I used to understand it, like art was only for rich people, like fucking Steve Cohen. Like, you know, you have to have billions of dollars to invest in art. The last Picasso painting, how much do you think the last Picasso sold for? 64 million. 103. Oof. 103 million. That's a 1,400% increase from when it was originally auctioned in 1997, which was when Picasso was born. No. <laughs> no, he died in the 70s. <laughs> Almost um, But. It, here's the thing. Now we now live in a world where you don't have to buy the whole $103 million Picasso. You can invest in paintings by using Masterworks. It's the billion-dollar tech company that analyzes a ton of data to find out great paintings, which ones are going to be investable, and then you can do that on their platform. So uh, the same way you want to buy into a company and hope it goes up, you can now buy into some art. And if you know you can be a fancy art owner... Uh, the same way that the high society people are. And I suggest you do that because art is a fucking uh, scam. <laughs> it is a tax evasion scam. <laughs> and so rich people will always make sure that art stays valuable. So you should get in on that. Uh, early investors get a net IRR. Do you know what that stands for, John? No. Give me a, give me a guess. We're talking about finance, and it's a percentage. Uh, Something IRR. revenue return. What? Something revenue return. Initial revenue return. Um. Uh, would you say in, in, initial revenue return? return. It's um, the uh, now I can't remember it. Hang on, <laughs> it's the um, don't anybody else say it. the <laughs> internal rate of return. Internal rate. Of, okay, That's, that was close though. All that right. was good. That was closer than I thought you were going to get. Of thirty percent, an IRR of thirty percent. Actually, can someone check that on me? What is <laughs> uh, in twenty twenty one and twenty twenty in twenty twenty and twenty twenty one from the sale of two paintings, early investors got a net return of thirty percent. So. You guys can putz around. Yeah, internal rate of return. That's what I said, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so get down with Masterworks. You can get all priority access by logging on to masterworks.com. Nope. By logging on to masterworks.art slash KFC. 
Join over 300,000 users. That's masterworks.art slash KFC. See important disclosures at masterworks.io slash disclaimer. This sounds like uh, like a like a light switch Lou type of thing. Yeah. Like something they're... where like I'm, you know, people who got in on this are going to retire by the time they're like 28. <laughs> and they're going to be like, Masterworks, bro. I sold Picasso's when I was 25. So don't be the idiot who, who misses out on millions of dollars in the art world. Go to masterworks.art slash KFC now. Donnell Rawlings on KFC Radio. And then I look over, Bobby Lee is over there, and before, nobody even told him to get naked. <laughs> nobody said shit. He was like, oh, dick and balls, let's go. <laughs> and he went naked and just went down there so wonderful. And then he's coming to me like, Donnell, what is wrong with you? You don't like me, do you? What do you think I'm gay? You think I'm gay? You think I'm gay? What if you don't like me? Why you never hug me? Give me a hug, please. Give me a hug. I'm like, you got your dick in your hands, son. He's like, he, yo, he jail. That motherfucker is like this. What's wrong, Donnell? What's wrong? What's wrong? You don't like me? I think you're funny. You don't think I'm funny, Donnell? <laughs> but it was a good show. And all those guys are my friends. We got different style, you know, just different style of humor. But the people liked the show. It was fun. We're at 94,000 subscribers on KFC Radio, the YouTube channel. I need to have it hit six figures. I need 100,000 for 2022. Let's make it happen. When we hit 100K, we'll give you all sorts of content. We're going to deliver on everything we've been promising. So please just subscribe. All you got to do is log in with your Gmail. Click subscribe. Whether or not you actually even use YouTube doesn't fucking matter. All it does is help us. So take your Gmail, log in, click subscribe, and help us out.